Here we are. Things are all weird. Technology has failed again. Sort of everything blew up on my streaming software. Looks like the audio is working. Looks like it's the right audio. But the resolutions are all messed up. So if everything's kind of blurry, I apologize. We've got a bunch of stuff going on today. We're going to start with an unboxing. Three years in the making. I'll just get right to it here. So How about there we go? No, I'm very sorry about this. Midas, thank you. 89. You saved me there. Because I didn't check. 
Yeah, I like clicked on an image. I wanted to reset it back to normal, and what it did is reset my entire OBS software. Undo button did not work, so spent the entire morning readjusting everything. So that was super fun this morning. Anyway, this is a uh, I don't know where I left off, but game found three years ago. You would think Portal would have uh, done a little bit better job. So this is back when I was actually getting new print mats. So this is probably one of the last mats I'm going to get. Is there another one that is super late? Not sure. But this is an older game, and they redid it. So let's just do this mat first, just for the sake of. You have a big table if you've got this and once again it's language independent which is interesting I remember back when I had my original copy I had my mother write in the different uh, phases in here and I don't think that's going to be possible this time I don't know what uh, inking calligraphy on neoprene mats if that's going to be any good or not so anyway Yes, the book of adventures. Let's take a look at this. So anyway, lots going on today. We're going to be unboxing this Robinson Crusoe. Then people will show up and we're going to play some Almost Innocent again. Then we're going to play some E.T. the Extraterrestrial. And then our main game today is Dune Uprising, which I hopefully will all coincide at a roughly 12.30. We'll see. So Runs of Crusoe is a cooperative game where you're uh, making all sorts of items, that, all sorts of different scenarios that you can do. I'm assuming that's, that that is what this is going to be. Very nice. I like the ring bound. It'll stay open. <coughs> so each one will tell you what you need to collect and what you need to do to survive. Oh, look at that newspapers and all sorts of fancy stuff at the back here. That's cool. So anyway, ring bound, so it can be left open, tells you everything you need, how many turns you get, all the special rules, sometimes there's special uh, items in the actual book that you can... Extra adventures. <coughs> there's definitely more adventures in this book alone that I can see that was in the, in the basic game. I'm pretty sure the basic game only had nine, and this has a ton. Is there like a quick, uh... yes. So extra adventures, <coughs> extra than the, the original, yes. And apparently there's an app now as well, which is going to have all sorts of <coughs> extra stuff one day. I will get rid of this cold. And then for some reason, this adventure book came with a bunch of cards. I'm wondering if these are all the sort of uh, extra items that you can build in each adventure. I think maybe they made it a card for it. I will look into that later. Let's see what kind of fancy stuff we get in this. This is all that came, so I'm not sure. I did try to go over my pledge again just to see. This should be sun-dropped, and it should have some extras in it. It just seems odd <coughs> that there was like no other boxes or anything. But we're going to find out. Let's check this out together and see what we got. It's supposed to be like a volcano dice tray and all sorts of miniatures for base camps. And The original game had no miniatures. It was just uh, giant wooden discs. <coughs> right, let's throw this heap of cellophane in the top of the box here. They say that the rule book's been redone. The original rule book was atrocious and really cut down from how many people were playing it. <coughs> Made it very difficult to understand. 
was one of Portal's one of Portal's first sort of English games for sure. One of the main hooks of Robinson Crusoe is that you'll be you'll be going you'll be building a map here with hexes. He'll be going out investigating things. And he'll say, oh, you've been bitten by a snake. He won't tell you what happened. He'll tell you to shuffle that card. And we never read ahead. It just says to shuffle that card into the event deck and give this token to the person that got bit by the snake. And eventually that card's going to come up in your event deck. And then it'll tell you what happens to that poor person that has the token. So there's all sorts of different stuff like that. It makes it very interesting. <coughs> anyway, so, new rule book. You always play some sort of character, like a cook or a uh, hunter or all sorts of different uh, sort of adventurers that you can play, and they all have their own special abilities. <coughs> Sorry, this cough is so bad today. All right, let's move on to some interesting stuff. So we have a whole introduction, campaign guide. Introduction to the campaign guide. There's going to be all sorts of fancy stuff to look into this time around. So lots of... So this looks like it's a step-by-step -step way to play. I'm sure the app even has like a little adventure that will bring you through step-by-step, -step, showing you how to play exactly. There's whole all there's all this different crafting. There's this whole layout of different items that you get to build for each scenario. You have to collect wood and food and build camp and and uh, make your shelter better. All sorts of fun stuff. Uh, exclusive content. All right. So this is going to tell us what we've got in here. Let's just zoom in. No, the original did not have a campaign. We'll just zoom into this book here and see if we can, so we can look through it. So we can know what we're going to look like. So like I said, there'll be a volcano dice tower. It's one of the harsh parts about this. <coughs> you like go to an area, roll some dice, and you can do very good or very poorly. So carpenters, cooks, soldiers, explorers, like I said, those are the professions you can be. Volcano, now you have a, a, a miniature for your base camp. Looks like you could have pets. Interesting. Oh, slightly off here. Horses, parrots, monkeys. And then there's all sorts of weather if that happens. There's a weather dice that you'll be rolling. So that's that. And then I guess this is what you have if you didn't order the adventure book. So this might tell us how many adventures you would normally get. These look like there's stickers that you would place on the ponds. But we're going to have some miniatures I think that we're going to be looking up. Wreckage tile. Stickers for the discs. base camp and some weather tiles. Is this it? So this might be all you get in the original game. One double-sided, double-sided. So two, four, six, eight different scenarios in the base game. And then as you can see in the adventure book, there was many more than eight. And then all the ones that they're going to add to the, to the uh, app as well. So yes. Because each one of these pages <coughs> is an adventure on itself. Yeah, crazy. Crazy number of different scenarios there. So I'm not going to punch this out, but this looks like our <coughs> volcano, uh, our volcano dice tower. Uh, Alright, let's can we, I'll zoom in like that just as an example. So like I said, so each scenario will show you how many turns it is, will give you unique things that you can build just for that scenario, how long you have to do it, what you need to do. Volcanoes, yeah, cool stuff. Looking forward to trying this again. And we're going to stream it, I'm sure. We're either going to stream it next week or in a couple of weeks. I'm sure we're going to give it the full treatment. This looks like stickers for the pets. 
at this smaller stuff over here. Stickers for your pets. But like I said, there should be, it looks like there's trays of miniatures in here. We will see. Oh, I don't want to pull stuff out there. Tokens, map tiles, they usually come up randomly when you, when you uh, explore, and looks like there's like different event tiles, I don't remember them exactly. All sorts of new stuff. Yet another book. How many books does this thing need? This is called the Introductory Campaign Scenario Book. So this, yes. So this is very good. I'm glad they did this. So you actually, if you don't need the map for this, zoom in again. You play right in the book. It tells you what you need. Shows parts where you're going to put the actual tiles right in the book and then it will slowly walk you through different scenarios and how the game works. And you play in the book and it gives you examples. Yes, I agree too. Midas, this is what I'm talking about. I remember getting rid of mine long, long ago and I, I purposely have not played this for like the three years I've been waiting for this to come out. Brings back the member berries for sure. So yeah, I wish more games did this kind of thing where it gave you a book like this where you play uh, <coughs> there was a uh, figure, Chrono Masters, I think it was called, or something, a game like that, that did that same kind of thing that I thought was really well done. Alright, here we go. Some interesting stuff. Got some miniatures to look at. Oh, now I'm going to have to leave them in here because everything seems to fit so well. <coughs> we'll see. All right. Can I zoom in any more? A little bit more. So it looks like this is your uh, camp because you can have different levels of camp. So you have your camp fenced and other things you can build inside your camp. There was like an add-on to get it all sun dropped, so this stuff came all. Uh, shaded, which is nice, you know, it, I know I can do this easily myself, but you know, everything's done and I don't have to mess around with it, and it wasn't overly, this is, I'm not completely understanding why there's two of, I guess maybe multiple people can play the same, like there's two soldiers, maybe multiple people can play uh, the same character. Not sure. Don't remember that. But there's there's doubles of everything. There's double explorers, double as you can see. I don't need to tell you two and two. Two of every character for whatever reason. There's the monkey. There's another add-on you could with them being late or you added on before the shipping or something. I just remember it was something that you had the and the cat and the horse and then another whole level of camp upgrade. Crazy. And only red discs. What does that mean? I don't know. These are compasses. Is this something I build? Or no, I doubt it. And there's Friday, dog, more camp stuff, baskets, bunch of lanterns. Interesting stuff. Is this, I think this is a cook, man. That's pretty cool. Check, check them out. Yeah, that's super sweet. Yep. And they're much bigger than I thought. Holy junkers. Is there a scale? Good. Miniature from a normal game. Anyway, that's tray one of what looks like a ridiculous number. Why 
Why is that not sitting right? It's you. You're not supposed to be like that. There we go. I wonder if you're supposed to put dice in here. All right. Let's check the time. We're we doing 15 more minutes. That's good. So there's the normal board. If you didn't have the neoprene mat, no reason to open that up. It's the same as that. Does this actually there's a reason to open it up? Let's see if there's. Does the mat give you extra stuff or not? And you can see the difference in size. That's how much room the mat. The ah, this went back out. Sorry. There we go. So this is the basic board and it includes everything but you can just see the size is just different and the layout is slightly different no it does have extra like this whole book part over here is not on the map you probably put your scenario sheets here or the book probably just lays out perfectly there you know what i bet you that's <coughs> exactly what you do take your book the scenario you're on oh, <laughs> and you just put it right there uh, that's flipping cool. All right, next. See now, all these things is uh, all these nice things are pushing away the anger of why the game took so long. So that's what your character sheet's gonna look like. They are double sided. Uh, nice double layered to put your uh, health in, your special abilities. <coughs> Summary sheet. I hope there's more than one. Carpenter, soldier, explorer, cook. Four different characters. There's an empty tray to put a bunch of tokens. More stuff in the top of this to put stuff in. Who knows what for. such luck. All right. Last but not least, all right, you have all the food and bread and wood, all the different tokens, skins, everything that you use to uh, <coughs> craft all the stuff, extra bags, the dice that I, that I was talking about for the different kinds of skills that you're going to do. It'll tell you the color of the skill. There's also weather dice in there as well. So your roll and the weather will change. <coughs> and your whole party will freeze. Well, that's why every character has two. Because you have two pawns. So you need two miniatures. Interesting. But in the old days, you would stack the miniatures up, the pawns, because someone could go help you to do something, because it was automatic success if you had two of the pawns in an area. <clears throat> and then if you only had one, you could still do it, but you'd have to roll the dice and hope you rolled a success. So that is why there is two miniatures for each. We have a giant crab. Who knows what that's for? And then the up team million other tokens there are. I'm not sure why there's so many purple ones. There's only one. Maybe purple's not a color. I've got two green. Anyway, I'm not going to go through the colors. <coughs> a ton of stuff in there for markers and other things. giant deck of stuff you can craft and then the giant there's a whole hunting deck as well that you have to have where you'll think you're going to go and hunt a goat but then you flip up the card and it's a tiger and your person gets mauled to death <coughs> purple are the pets thank you thank you ryan uh, yes, caution, tutorial deck. So this is all preset. Do not shuffle. So maybe I will not open that one. 
there's the either it's like cards you can uh, give yourself like handicap cards but i think these are the opposite these will help you out you have friday and the dog and they help you do things lots of cards all right we'll get into some of those i think that is everything out of there spot to the map tiles lots of organizing for later what is this not sure what these are sorry about that crank camp money maybe a spot to put tokens unsure all sorts of different let's get that off you can't see what i'm holding so yeah so all sorts of things for maybe pets and your money and your skins or stuff i am not sure placeholders oh these are dividers ah i'm so stupid sometimes my brain doesn't work these are card dividers card dividers awesome all right next gotta keep eye on the time because i gotta get time to clean up and then People should be here. Yes. Thank you, Midas. You're right. It takes my brain. It's a little early in the morning here. It takes my brain to a little bit to wake up here. All right. So what do we have here? All the pets. The monkey. Friday. Horse. Parrot. Cat. Not so chuffed that Friday is in with the pets, but sure. Let's move on from that. And we have a bunch of, it looks like direction cards. Scared of the purple ones, gloomy, clumsy, undetermined, lost. Yeah, they seem all bad. This looks like it's some sort of weird search deck. And then, like I said, <clears throat> so they're all based on the dice, right? So if there's a green skill, it'd be green dice. I forget how they're all divided up. But unlucky bridge. I don't want to go through these and ruin some surprises for people. <clears throat> but different events. Same thing, another giant deck of events. Events, 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 events. Oh, different, yes. So you can try to build something and it's like, oh, you failed trying to build your uh, shelter. So draw it off of this deck. It'll be just things that would happen when built, like, you know, you smashed your hand with a hammer or, you know, the wood broke and you didn't know. So it's very, it's interesting that way that they have, uh, the things make sense when something goes wrong. It's just not a random bad thing. It actually pertains to what you were trying to do. I think that's what mostly these decks are. I don't think there won't be anything fancy to show you anymore. I think we got through the miniatures. That was the fancy part. Someone said something about building the uh, your thing. I don't think you need to build your your camp. It looks like it comes pretty. Uh, Yes, failing is very common in this game, which is good. People that know me know I don't like uh, winning right away. I like something to be very hard. It makes the wins that much nicer. <coughs> yep, this is just all bad stuff. Lots to do with weather in this deck. Bad feelings, foul weather. Yeah, I don't want to spoil these cards. I want to show you the cards because some people, like want, uh, including me, want to be surprised when they come up in the game. Maybe we can look, maybe there'll be something different than this deck that we can actually look at. There's uh, like the game cards for Dog and Friday. Their health. More event stuff. No, same thing, just more event type stuff. So many cards. Oh, let's put this off here. I'm covering everything up. <laughs> All right. I think this is just going to be more of the same. Swamps, Lost in the Woods. Oh, what's this? This is something different. Okay, lots of organizing later, that's for sure. So 
Item decks. How did these work again? Gremlins. Well, there'll be one spoiler here. What's this? Gremlins. What kind of creatures are they? They fight you regardless of your shuffling of the deck. Gremlins hunted you down. Oh, yeah. See, so much cool stuff. I'm so excited to give this another try. Where are my little red cards? I want to see the the old hunt deck so I can show you some of the creatures that you get to fight. They were this size before. I thought maybe the new ones. Here we go. These are the ones. What was this again? I remember this. This looks familiar. It goes down the corner here somewhere. I forget. Anyway, here's the hunt deck. And what else do we have besides the hunt deck? All the items. You can make slings. So yes, yeah, so the, the, the particular scenario will tell you which items are going to be available. There's like drums and furnaces and lanterns and moats and fireplaces. And on the back, it'll tell you what you need to build them and what they do. <coughs> and it's like one of these things where you have to spend time. Not only do you have to spend the time to get the resources to build them, then you have to spend your actions to actually build them. And that's instead of doing the scenario. Anyway, where do my hunt cards go? So yes, yeah, so you want to you want to go hunting because, like I said, you could just you know hunt a goat because you know it's easy to kill. It's no problem. But then you flip the card, and it wasn't the goat you wanted. It's actually a gorilla that uh, rips your person apart, or, or it just happens to be an alligator. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Or, you know, uh, it, was just a, it was just an iguana. This is the, the pain <coughs> that is the hunting deck. All right. Yeah, there was weather too. My God, yeah, let's see. Sometimes you don't want to remember. Sometimes the pain was that bad. Yeah, so the weather's constantly getting bad. All your people are starving. <coughs> you can't get the resources that you want. You can't find the, the territory that you want to explore. And I think, if I remember right, you can deplete hexes as well. It's like you've taken too much wood for this hex, so you don't... There's no more wood there, so then you have to try to find another hex that has wood. It's all just bad. It's bad. <clears throat> but in a fun way, at least for me. All right, what can I do to get this halfway cleaned up? So, sorry I didn't open this up, but this has to stay in a particular order, so I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to throw all the other cards in here, and we'll do a whole evening tonight of organizing all these cards up. And then there's a giant slot. Oh my god, that's eight inches deep. For the small cards, I would want to try to get those out. I don't know why they have. I don't, oh, there was a hole. Oh no, this is the deck of. This is the cards that were in the. In with the uh, adventures, but like I said, I think they're just like special cards for adventures only. And as you can see, this is with all the cards in. So you have this much, let me just double check, because there's so many, yeah, so there's this much room left, so I'm sure if you do sleeve your cards, you probably still have enough room to fit them in, even sleeved. And there's still all of these spots here for probably other cards as well. Let's throw all this stuff in here. Dividers. Any questions, just ask them now. I'm just going to get this away and we're going to, I'm going to start setting up Almost Innocent and we can hope that everyone shows up when they were supposed to. So this flows, you know, I dream of things flowing well, but we know that they don't. <clears throat> what are the chances that I'm going to put this back in the box? Good. Counters go on here, which means the board will fit right into here, and then this fits right on top of here. There's a slot along here. I wonder what that's for. Maybe so you can just get it out. I'm not sure. Oh, it's for the spiral band part of this, so it fits in there nicely. Yes, of course. punch boards they don't quite fit but that's fine because uh, they're gonna go into the trays and stuff and for now the adventure book is not gonna fit in there 
nor will the mat, but the mat is cool. The fact that the book fits right there, man, that's cool. This is the adventure book, has all the adventures, including the ones that come in the, bo in the box, plus all the extras, and then it fits right on the board like that. That's some cool stuff. Challenges in Neverland, poachers, the Forbidden Island, Bigfoot spotting, all sorts of fun stuff. All right. Let us get this cleaned up. Get ready for some almost innocent. And that is Robinson Crusoe. Did you do a favor and dump all of that into the dry? Put the lid on. Did you ever play uh, Robinson Crusoe, Jimbo? Yeah, yeah, I used to play. Good stuff. So yes, there's a on the new premium. I actually show you. There's like a spot to actually put the book, and it stays open. And there's your adventure, and there's like a little uh, area cool. right on the new mat to leave the book out. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. That's awesome. I wish. I don't think that's going to fit the box though. We'll see once I get it all set up. I don't, even, I don't think there's a spot. All right. <clears throat> Mostly, I remember that it was. Ridiculously punishing. Yes, that's what we were just talking about. Not only did you have to deal with the weather, but then the hunting thing messes you up because you wanted to hunt a goat, but there was really a gorilla. Mm -hmm. And then you got bit by a snake, and then your foot froze off, and then yeah, uh, you depleted the the map sector that had uh, the wood that you needed for the scenario, and yeah. So, uh, everyone that's coming knows this, so I'll describe this quickly, and then I'll put you on a, on a next up screen while we wait for everyone to get here. So here are the different decks of cards. So we have evidence, scene, victims, crimes, and offenders. And I'm going to have one of each card, and they're going to belong to Jimbo. So these are Jimbo's cards. And they all pertain to one uh, area on this grid. But he doesn't know what they are. So he's going to ask questions like, how many of my clues are on this particular row or column? And I'll have to tell him. And then that question gets asked all the way around the table. And then you slowly deduce which ones are yours. Because I know I can see Jimbo, so I know that these ones aren't mine. So it's a lot like Incognito. If you like this type of game, then I'm definitely... I think you should look into incognito because it was super fun so i know these aren't mine and i can sort of listen to what the other questions people are asking and then know <coughs> which ones are mine you just get sort of mixed up in these when they're uh, double spaces like this because if whoever gets this fortress card is going to be in some trouble hi there's right this jimbo man you're you're in a lot of trouble mm -hmm. because it'll tell him <coughs> that, you know he's got a clue here and a clue here and a clue here and a clue here and it's gonna mess him up because he's it's this giant shape in the middle yeah and there's a very cute little story that goes with it <coughs> and everyone's gonna have a set of cards to the person to their left so i have jimbo's uh megan's gonna have i mean jimbo will have megan's megan will have keegan's and keegan will have mine and then you ask questions you have a certain you're limited to the questions the number of questions you get to ask and then once you've got <coughs> all the questions, then you have to uh, make your guesses. And hopefully everyone gets them right. All right, we are going to be back. I'm going to change the thing here. Let's go to stream information. That 
is now updated. All right, I'm gonna throw you on the we'll be back screen and as soon as they arrive, we will start with Almost Innocent. So what you Sometimes I'm an ass and I light things on fire. It's usually cause I'm hot or I'm hungry or I'm tired. But anytime I look into your eyes, well, I'm suddenly twice the size. Ooh. Ooh. 
right, we are now back. Everyone is here and we're ready to go. And we'll just zoom out a little bit. Not in, there we go. All right, so everyone's got a nice little dry erase uh, board like this. Uh, this is how I usually do mine. There's usually a lot more of these little uh, jail symbols, so you just mark them off because that doesn't belong to anybody. And then just to remind myself about these double spaces, sometimes I just color them in a little bit just to show that they're double spaces. And yes, yeah, so we have two double spaces and one giant four by four space. <coughs> and then I have to keep my board secret. I'll zoom in a little bit so that And then you mark off the cards. I have Jimbo's cards. And then if you want, if someone wants to get that ready, if they're already done. Pass that to me. We're playing on standard, yeah? Uh, yes. Yes, I better just uh, double check. What is what is our plot on this one? I'll read it in just a moment. You're going to need to turn your your screen a bit there, Megan. Yeah. I want to wait till you were done. All right. If anyone at home has any questions at any time, feel free to ask. <coughs> and this last but not least. All right. Grab some water before we start. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Oh, all right. Where's my story? Let's see if I can get th through this without losing a lung. Do you want to read it? <laughs> nope. I think if I <clears throat> press more, it'll. All right. What have we done so far? Well, we were, we were we went to jail. We we woke up at a bar. Yes. And we were drugged with spicy tea. A spicy tea. And people disappeared. So we ran out looking for them, and we met this mouse. <coughs> he said he was going to help us, and I knew right from the start. But his little shifty eyes, he was no help. Then we ran into this bunny guard, and we had to tell him the whole story. And then his friend the frog came by and he thought we looked shifty so we had to retell the whole story again and then the mouse's evil friend the alligator showed up and they both pointed fingers at us <coughs> so we had to quickly find now we are welcome to the stubborn toad act two six toad frog that's how we do with two witnesses testifying against you, your evidence is not enough. In a desperate attempt, you try to outrun the force of the law. Thanks to that speedy rabbit, you are quickly caught and escorted to the infamous Stubborn Toad Detention Center. Mm. You curse the rat and you curse the rabbit, but most of all, you curse your own desire for tea. Finally, you yield to your fate. <laughs> At the detention center, you meet the prisoner master, who gives the place a grim name. Who gave the place its grim name, sorry. Luckily, someone who has also returned to Din's 
oracle stones to the prisons lost and found. With the help of the oracle stones, you try to piece together what has actually happened last night and convince the froggy keeper of your innocence. <coughs> so we now we get player powers, or at least we get one. So whoever plays red gets their player power. We choose difficulty. That tells us what types of questions we get to ask and how many. And then it tells us uh, what evidence and stuff we use. And that is the end of the scenario. So now we start asking questions. We make someone the first player. Oh, that was definitely close towards Megan. All right. And yes. Alrighty. Um, we prepare for the silliness. I would like to ask a number question about column B. Column B. How many do I have in column B? In column B, you have one. Hmm. Sorry, you have none. I have none in column B. How many do I have in column B? You have two. Interesting. Walker. Yes. You have one. I have one. And Keegan, you have two. Mm -hmm. And there's also a jail cell. And Jimbo has one. And so that's a total of four. four. And there are five things. So one of the things does not belong to anybody. Interesting. That tells us nothing. <laughs> I, this is ridiculous. The first question and we haven't solved anything yet? That's <laughs> outrageous. This game's broken. All right. Megan. Yes. How many do I have in... Ooh, row five. In row five, you have one. I see. Keegan. How many do I have in row five? You have two. I have two in row five. So technically I can cross-reference the one that I had in B in and the two. Zero. Except yeah, that the <laughs> I, I, okay. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and the two I have in five to see that I have a jail cell as a card. See that doesn't work. <laughs> ah. So that Walker, means how many do I have <laughs> in row five? Jimbo, I have a great answer for you. You have nothing. Yes, two nothings. I'm well on my way to solving things, presumably. Yes, yeah, so that doesn't tell me much either. Well, it tells me a few things. One, it tells me Keegan asked the question. He... would not... Ask me. No, that's a bold assumption. I don't know what the this, end of the sentence see, is going to be, but this, I feel like that's a bold assumption. He would assumption. not ask me row five <laughs> if my evidence was in row five. He wouldn't say one because it could be any one of these. It's definitely <coughs> either. I I feel like my crime. Given our last <coughs> game, of he can just ask for himself. Uh, or my victim. Uh, uh, that is because not. I, I dispute your characterization. No, <laughs> Keegan is very helpful. He would never steer me wrong. <coughs> he always asks great questions like this, Keegan. How many clues do I have in row three? In row three, you have nothing. Oh, that's good. That is good. That's very good. That means you don't have the centerpiece. The centerpiece. Mm -hmm. Jimbo. Yes. You have three things. Ooh. <laughs> in row three. Oh, good. Three things in row three. And four types in row three, so you don't you can't fully narrow down. But so how many do I have in row three? In row three, you have one. One. How many do I have in row three? Oh, actually. Oh, also good. I think that, yep. That was row three. 
That was three in row three. Okay. And making little extra notes for how many everybody has in. <laughs> I don't know how legible they're going to be. Luckily, I have zero, so I, I don't I don't need yeah. to write what everybody else has in that particular one. Yeah. Oh, I'm just writing <coughs> a list just to for for further knowledge. <laughs> Is it, is it my turn it to... It is your turn. Okay. Um, Walker. Yes. How many things do I have in row D? Column D. Nothing. Oh, that's very helpful. That is very helpful. Oh, he gets rid of okay. two, two of his greens and the center space. Well, he's space. got he has three things in three and none, none of them are the center space. It's true. How many do I have in column D? So sorry, that was three things in D? No, no nothing, it, in no, D. nothing, nothing in D. In D. You have nothing in D. In D. In D. Megan, you have two things in D. Okay. Uh -huh. you, you also have nothing. Uh, Walker, you have one thing in D. One in D. Slide that down to the I will. D. I have one in D. Is it the same thing that's in five? I don't know. You don't know? There's no way of knowing? Okay. Hmm. How many do I have in row four? Once you finish taking notes. In row four, you have nothing. Oh, good. That's helpful. Keegan. How many do I have in row four? Two. Yeah. Keegan. Yeah. How many do I have in row four? You have nothing in row four. I have nothing in row four. That was my four. first zero for the center, so that was all. <laughs> mm. You already been told yeah. that row, um, row three. Jimbo. Yes. You have one thing in row four. One thing in row four. Can you use another number? Megan. Yes. How many things do I have in row two? In row two, you have nothing. Ooh. Walker, you have two things in row two. Oh, good, good, good. That. Jimbo. Yes. You have nothing in row two. In row two, I have. Nothing. I believe I have to have at least one row two, but how many do I have in row two? In row two, you have two. Two things, okay. And then that would go for everything. Stand by as I. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing some. Well, my mind's some not working today. Clues cascade. I yeah, I feel you. I, 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 I don't know how to cascade. I'm just sort of starting. I made a logic jump that then, thankfully, was proven to be immediately incorrect, yes. and I just had that like, oh yeah, there's no way I should have made that jump. That was just dumb. Okay. Is it my turn? It is. Unfortunately, the one question I want to ask, I can't ask. 
this will be your last question. Oh, you know, oh, oh good. To... Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, if I can't be there, I can't be there. When does Keegan get to use his ability, and what does Anytime. he do? Anytime. It lets somebody look at three of these cards of their choice, and then show one to every, show one of the three to everybody. Am, somebody who's, who's am I allowed to offer a suggestion, or are we oh, allowed yeah, to? Because sure. it seems it sounds like Walker is perhaps struggling, so maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Give, give me Walk. a sec to see what I know, because I haven't actually tried logic anything out yet. Okay. It's um, my question, right? It is. Um, oh, do I? Can I deduce my blue from all of this? <sighs> is there a better place to ask this question? Mm -hmm. I cannot deduce my blue from all of this. Um, C one of the C ones. I'll use one of these because they seem to be more difficult. Keegan. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, don't take your time. Ooh. If you would like me to use my sage powers on you. Not yet. Okay, well I don't have I can't have anything for sure yet. I know I know what row <clears throat> one of mine is in, but that doesn't help me. Is my victim in this row? Victim is which color? Blue. 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 Yes. Yours is not Keegan. Oh, interesting. Yours is also not Megan. I knew that, but thank you. Or, um, <laughs> I know, I know. The is. only one I know for sure what row it is is the victim, and it's not that row. Yours is not there either, Jimbo. Okay. So nobody's was but mine. No, uh, nobody's was but yours, correct. Which means one of those two belongs to nobody. That, yeah, that unfortunately didn't tell me mm. what I needed to know. Go ahead, Jimbo, it's your... We did this. You gave Keegan something, I guess. Um, one sec, I might be able to deduce everything. Stand by. Mm. Um, I know two have to be in there. Tube, so that can't be there, and that can be there. Two um, which means but that's one of them's that, but that doesn't help. I mean, my fender could be freaking anywhere. So this has to be my scene. That could be anywhere. Okay, yeah, I, I got no idea. No, All right, I have a 50 50 for my last clue. All right, Jimbo. All right, so I can do a bunch of things here. One second, I can do that. I can do that. The only thing I can do here is this. And that leaves that, that, or that. This leaves that, that, or that. So it could be anything. Not a good snacking. And this could be. I have flavored rice crisps if you would like something to no. snack on that is not sugared. No. That could be anything as well. Yeah, I, I am not. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling too. All right. Walker. Is my offender in that column. No. Is my offender in that column? Yes. Okay. Well, Yours is not Walker. This is not, my offender is not in that. That's, Yours is also in This was column, column C. 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 Column C. The black. Yeah. yeah. Your offender is not in column C. Okay, well that narrows my offender down. Partially. Can ask 
just put A E F for one. And it's going to be sage. number. And it's going to be number. Well, yeah. sage is not instead of it. It's in addition, right? Or so yeah. Or any time. Yeah. I was say, or someone yeah. can call for a sage to try to narrow down the question they're going to ask. Oh boy! I don't like. See, I don't know how much like any of these number questions is going to help me. I do. Well, it really depends. It very much depends on. Which one's that? That doesn't really tell me. This is that. I don't want to give my solutions. And that is that. And that <laughs> is. Luckily, I'll have Megan and uh, Keegan going first. And, yeah. Uh, that is that. Hmm. Two more left. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> How many do I have in column F, I guess? That doesn't help. You have none in column F. Well, that does help me. Do I have one in column F? You do. Uh, Walker, you have one in column F. <laughs> Walker, do I have anything in column F? Yes. <laughs> That's all you get to know. <laughs> you, get, you have one thing in column F. I have one thing in column F. Okay, how much? So I've got one of my five things now. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we are literally down to the wire. So who needs Keegan's ability? I think Walker or I. I was going to say, I think it's got to be clearly Walker or yourself. Yeah. Do you have anything? I have, my, I have one of my things. I mean, do you have Walker? Nothing. All right. <laughs> well. I'm also going first. <laughs> yeah, she's going first, though. She gets All right, yeah, Megan, look, right. At, look at three cards. Oh, God. I would, would I do three different ones? I don't even know. No, different ones is a problem because then, like, if you don't get the thing that tells you something. Yeah. Because you could draw the one that you've already eliminated if you've got it. Yeah. Do I have any, or uh, I do have one that's down to three, so maybe I should do that one. And then one more. And then one more. And you'll get to show one of those three to everybody. Yeah. Well, of. Okay, well, I think we all knew this, um, so I'm not going to put that there. Um, does that help me with anything? Ooh, that actually does help me. I don't think that would help anybody else, though. Um, so you just power gone. Let me just confirm that one. And then this one is okay, I pass that down. I think this is gonna be the most helpful to show everybody because I think the other two are, are not gonna help anybody else. So the church was not anybody's. That's unfortunate. Well, redo your logic then. <laughs> <laughs> well, could your, your ability helped you even. <laughs> Uh, Erase everything to start over if you have to. <laughs> I might. 
I might, I might, I might. That is D6 for those that... It is D6. <clears throat> Wait a second. Oh, me! I may have just written the wrong name. Did you do what I did? Um, yeah, you circled the right thing, but but. Yeah, I think okay. Uh -oh. Yes, I have just called it the wrong thing. Okay. The buildings look similar sometimes. All right. Yeah, well, we are all that still good. doesn't uh, narrow a whole lot down for me, but it uh, it helped. <laughs> Here you go, Keegan. Give me no information as usual. <laughs> Actually, well, I think, I think any of these would give me some information. I don't know if there's any way to give Walker information at this point. So we'll ask about column A. Megan, how many things do I have in column A? One. I am solved! <laughs> Again! It, there's literally, it's the same either way, and this one also helps me. Keegan, what do I have in column A? Uh, you've got nothing. That's good. That's good. They're all narrowed out. But the important thing, Walker, is he solved himself. <laughs> <laughs> Walker, do I have two things in column A? Yes, you do. Do I have anything in column A? You do not. Ooh, that's very good. That might have solved me. It was either do one that might help Walker, but definitely helps me, or one that doesn't help me, and I don't know if it helps Walker or not. And we all know which one you lean towards. Oh, one of them gave more. Oh no, I'm I'm for out sure of, I'm, information. Uh, oh no, I'm not at a fifty-fifty because uh, other information. Okay, I've, I'm solved. All right, if I can go jump to this conclusion with no evidence why I would jump to this conclusion, but we'll jump to this conclusion because even if I get one thing, everything else will fall into place. Okay, just make sure all of this is true. Um, true. So if that is that. True. That means. True. This gets crossed off and means. Okay, everything everything is true, of my clues. We're gonna go with. Then, this. that is that. So then we're going to put a little X here and here. And if there's that there, and I, yeah, that's that. Okay. Right. Remember, you can wait and see what they have yeah. to see if that narrows it's true. any of your uh, any of your options down. And what on earth is that? That is that makes sense to what's going on. This is all good. And that means. Yes. No. I know. This was. That was a fender. A fender. I believe everybody was no except for me. All right. Let's start from the top. Victim. Megan. All right, is my victim, don't look at the against cards, is my victim, I can write them down, uh, the lady with the hair, Selfie Widow? Yes. Uh, mindful Mage? Yep. Are, aren't we supposed to do all of one person's? Nope. No, we do all of them. Oh, okay. All of the, all, we start at the top and do, everyone does their victim. All right. Mage, yes. That's correct for me. Um, so Keegan. You're, you're not the Widow or the Mage, Walker. <laughs> Keegan. Mm-hmm. Is my victim the frog? No. Is, <laughs> so that loses us this. Therefore, my victim is the bunny. The observant rabbit, yes. 
Jimbo. He's got a bad track record with 50-50. Is guesses. my... That uh, means everything else is wrong, so i got to do some quick... Oh. <laughs> is my victim the clumsy wizard? Yes. All right. So, that means this was... Erase everything and start again. Uh, correct as the victim, which means that gets that. And if one was correct here... And then we start again with Megan. Yep. With your crime. I'm happy to wait for you if you'd like. Or we guess we do us two and, <laughs> and then we can pause. Um, all right. Give me a second then. Is my crime uh, the curse? Yes. I have an extra written. Just kind of looking at the board, but it's the one where he's holding the thing. <laughs> arson. Yeah. One second, one second. Here. It's not the curse or arson. One, You're welcome. Okay, okay. one second. <laughs> curse was... Uh, it's not that or yeah curse is d2 d2 and arson, arson is b4 b4 i already had that crossed out so if i have two there that's an old x so that can be erased so that means that means this is correct so this is my offender maybe that's that has to be right now and if that is Right. Look up ahead of what my next one is for you guys. Is correct for, sorry, then my scene might be correct still. Oh, I'll go ahead. Uh, <coughs> wait, have you guessed yours already? He has. Yeah, I guessed arson and was correct. So I'm doing my crime. crime. Okay, one second. What on earth are my two? Oh, then I have to be, then I have to be blackmail. Yes. And Walker, am I scam? <coughs> Correct. All right. On to evidence. All right. So evidence. This is where I could be right still. Am I the shield? Yes. Uh, soap. No. Oh, it wasn't soap. Let me double check that I didn't do the same thing and write something. Um, I have smiley. Oh, I'm this. Yep. Spicy yeah. tea. Sorry. I have my smiley face on my board in that location, but for whatever reason, I've written the wrong word. Which means I'm soap. No, it can't be right. If he's, why would you write down soap? Well, because they're beside each other. No, and he's yeah, I on. looked at the board and. Yeah, just wrote down the wrong thing. I ha I am. He's, he's this. circled. He's circled that, and he's written. He's looked at the board and transcribed oh, but the wrong thing. There's another one up here. I'm that one. You're that one. So yeah, so I'm soap then. Uh, you were soap, yes. So you had the soap card. <laughs> I had a face down. But you after wrote I soap. <laughs> I just wrote W's on all the spots. All right, that's all right. It's all right. We're still doing good. We're still winning. <laughs> Jimbo. Am I speaking your throat? Oh, sorry. Um, spicy. Uh, am I the potion? Yes, you can potion. verify. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Scribble, 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 scribble. <laughs> verify. <laughs> right, I, scene. I, oh, I scribbled out. Am I the uh, windmill? Yes. Uh, and after. Yes. Double, double check. I am that. Yep. <laughs> The hut. You are the hut. <laughs> hut, hut. Uh, sorry, what did you guess, Megan? Uh, windmill. Wi windmill and hut. Um, Keegan, mm -hmm. am I the tavern? Yes. Woo! Yes. Uh, Walker, am I a four, the lighthouse? Lighthouse. All right, so just the offender. Am I the potato pirate? 
You are the potato pirate. Well, shh. You got time. You got time. Shit on a stick. But you knew you weren't, because I, I was the only offender in this column. You didn't. Your offender was not in this column. I wrote down the wrong thing. I'm okay. looking at the wrong picture. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. See, you're fine. Ah, uh, he's pulled the Keegan. <laughs> so the pictures are even very small in here. Do you want to guess? Uh, am I the mouse? You are the mouse. Druid. Yes. Jimbo. Well, unfortunately, it's 50-50. Oh, no. What, uh, so... Pick the right... What are, the, what, are, what are your 50s left? Because you're, you're nothing in that column. And yep. you're not the mouse, and you're not... Ugh. The potato the pirate so or the druid. So you are in, the, you're in this column. And we didn't ask... Num well, numbers about that column wouldn't have helped. Um, yeah, you don't have your row... You don't have a number for either of those rows. Cause I do not. One was not numbered, and the other was a... Was not asked. Well, yeah, 50 50. Am I the crooked crocodile? Curse, <laughs> curse of the 50 50s. No, you're the weary warlock. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah the uh, the uh, offender I looked at was was the, this one, so it would not have helped you. No, it would not one. have helped me. I already knew that. I already knew I wasn't that one. Yeah. We were very close again. It helped me. Oh, that's good. I mean, because it helped me. I, I knew I know, I knew it wouldn't help anyone else. Mm -hmm. And the other scene I flipped was the keep. Like, well, everyone already knows that. Yeah, we've already figured out that nobody's the keep. So, yeah. Yeah, I think it was a little bit easier because we didn't have the keep in play. Oh yeah, if the keep had been in play, it would have been much harder. Because then you drew the keep, being so able it, to eliminate the keep. Um, and if we didn't, then Megan would have just thrown it out anyway. And then you showed us because you yeah. drew the keep. Yeah. So we would have got. Is the spray not over there, Jumbo? Yeah, it's spray's right here. Yeah. Can I have that? Eliminated four spots I mean, instead of one like, for everybody. It, it would have eliminated four spots instead of one for everybody, but one person. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the difficulty is that, like, if like you have one in each of the rows and one in each of the columns, but it's not the key, you still don't know. Yeah. And that is almost innocent. I like I like the addition of the powers. game that always comes down to a fifty-fifty. Then we always lose. <laughs> Curse of the fifties. Yeah, I didn't get. I didn't get most of mine till the end. I had. had like. Ah, oh, it could be these two, these three, these two, these three, these two. Yeah, I was trying to give you, but I just. I was giving you two. Wait, did we already? Yeah, we lose that. We lost the hammer on this, the very first one. Did we not? Yeah, you. you yeah, I lost. You lost it on. Yeah. But luckily, that's what gave me the rest of everything else. So. Yes, that helpful. Well, it just means you three are going to get out scot free. I'm the one going to jail. Yeah. True. Instead of the wary warlock. Next up, E.T. E.T. phones for pizza. I don't. I don't think that's how that goes. I'm pretty sure that's how no, the movie I'm, went. I'm, they replaced all the E.T. all the home guns delivery. with flashlights, <laughs> and they replaced all the M&Ms with pizza. I don't there know. Were, there weren't any M&Ms in that movie. There were Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. They replaced the Reese's Pieces with pizza. I don't know. Are you no. sure? Yeah. I'm pretty yes. sure that's very, what happened. Very sure. So we can't have guns. That I do remember the guns with flashlights. That was definitely a thing. Yes. Because guns. Yeah. Like if you say, if you say, if half what you say is right, does that make you sound more mm -hmm. credible? Yeah, that, that I think that's usually what Walker goes for. Why is there a flower pot on the back of the board? Was that something for me too? Yeah, he grows the flower. Oh yeah, he's a botanist. Yeah. Ouch. I assume everyone will be there. My to stand my colors. power is weird as well. My my power doesn't make sense. Oh, the purple. Why does it make sense? <laughs> well, because it and says if, if I have. <laughs> I get to ask if my they, oh, thing is a liquid. Here. My evidence is the green. Is green evidence? Yes. Question mark. <coughs> so I get to ask if my evidence is a liquid, or is my victim a human? A human. But there are so few humans. So it, oh, gives, well, it gives you a chart. There are some humans. Yeah, yes. there's like wizards. But it stuff. gives you a chart of some of the animals that they say are not. They know these ones are human, and these animals are animals. It's like okay. <coughs> time roller, how's it going? You're just in time for E.T., the extraterrestrial light years from home game. Cooperative adventure. 
And we all have bikes with baskets. Yep, to carry either dice or ET in. And we went to school and we got made fun of. <coughs> and we never, we never forgot. Look at ET, isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Ah, uh, yes. Where are the three wise men? He's so swaddled. I think he's dressed like a ghost or something. That's right. It was a ghost for Christmas. Is this at six? Yes, ghost for Christmas. <laughs> it was a ghost for Christmas. Ghost for Christmas. <laughs> that is supposed to be at six, yeah. <coughs> Don't you remember? The ghost of future? Yeah. Ghost for Halloween. Ghost for ghost, ghost of Christmas, Christmas past. Future. Time Warlord was lurking for almost an instant. Ah. Right, do you want to uh, get all those items and randomize them? They're all face down and... Oh, look, you even get a spaceship. Look at that. Mothership. Mothership. It's even shaded. This is high high tech stuff going on here. Um, those go on every space except for the ones with the cubes and the phone. What's a space? Uh, sorry, um, what is this? The tech, okay, not a space, it was zone. Each of these, including that, is two. That's two? Yeah. Okay. Those are zones, sorry. Where's Spa the spaces are the white dots. <coughs> What's, uh, where's the pizza parlor? There's no pizza! God, that was aggressive, Jim. Is this three zones in this? Two on zones. this? It's two zones. I do have enough standees. I thought I was missing one. Can I play the cops? No. Okay, I know we do a jump. Do we jump over? Oh, there. I was going to say, there's the shark tank. So I'll we jump it. over the shark tank. Some of our items are, are jumps. Is that not how it went? Yeah. What's his name? Kevin O'Leary is there. Yes. And you're like, I need to jump over Kevin O'Leary. So we go to the shark school tank. and we teach all the kids how to dance because they never heard music before. Ah, yes. Well, I think they've heard it, but it was outlawed. Yes. <laughs> and by the, this town's very conservative music mayor. And, and we were right. So it is Ghost of Christmas Pass, because that's obviously the Ghostbuster car. Right? Oh, yeah. So we, we bust the ghosts, and then... And this is one of the ghosts. We go to the dance, and then we all have pizza. <laughs> <coughs> I hate everything about it. <laughs> which of us is the jock, and which is the nerd, and which is the... Yes. Uh, <laughs> Should there not be tokens here? How is this different from other spaces? Um, there were no more tokens left. Gotcha. That one should oh. be there. That is it. Okay, so uh, we got it. We got to save ET. ET does not start in a basket. Hmm. Um, all right. I'm Elliot. Yeah. Elliot. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna sync your brain up with the. Uh, I don't know who Greg is because those are siblings. I see so many awesome movie references. I control fire. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Does anyone get the reference? No? No. No. Not even a little. No. There's a movie called Firestarter. I've vaguely heard of it. She was a child star, same actress that did this, and then she got older and did all sorts of movies. All right. Never mind. <laughs> all sorts of movies. If I could remember the name, I would. Drew Barrymore? Drew Barrymore. Ah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I know who I've Drew Barrymore Drew is. <laughs> Knows random quotes from Firestarter, does not know the <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Movie trivia. Um, okay, so on your turn, you are going to ha do up to three basic actions and then any number of. Um, One times. Any number of uh, free actions. Of... Everyone's using purple font. I can't read your names. Stop it. Uh, your three p basic actions are move. Moving is. Uh, Move up to two spaces. Um, spaces are the dots. You can move along roads or along shortcuts. Uh, cars and agents can only move along roads. So move two spaces would be something like one, two. Um, what is the, sorry, what, two is the fun, what is the funkiness of the dotted lines? Is that the cop car? It's a cop movement? car routes, yeah. Okay. Uh, so the cop car can't take the, the street. Well, the cop car is just going, they're all going to the clearing to try to block off a mothership. So that's sort of our timer. Gotcha. And their movement is based on uh, dice. Um, so that is one potential basic action. You can also take a candy, which is add a candy from our... This is, this is our shared candy pool. And we can add a candy from 
deed supply to the pool. That is another basic action. Um, also, you can pick up an item or a device. Um, anything is nearby if it is near your dot. So these four spaces are nearby this person. Okay. Um, we're all here to start. Um, free actions. You can drop an item or device for free into an, a space. Devices will be these dice that we're building, and they are how we phone home. The gotcha. mothership does not move until we start rolling these. So you have to build at least one device before this can start moving. Um, you can move ET with candy. So you spend per candy moved, ET may move a spot. Per candy spent, ET may move one space to another. Um, you can pick up or drop ET for free if he's in your space. Um, your basket can hold either a dice, or, uh, a, a device, die, or ET. And your uh, player space can hold up to two objects. Gotcha. Or items, I guess they're called. Um, you can use an ET power. Um, free actions are as many as you are able to in your turn, but ET powers is only once per turn. And you, you can only do that if you have ET in your basket. Gotcha. Um, you can team up for free. Teaming up is joining your space together, and then when you move, they move. How many... Anyway, how many people can team up? You can team everyone up if you want. What's that? You can team everybody up if you want. Oh, right. So we can all do one giant, big giant move? Yeah. If you are if you are together at the end of your turn, though, the danger die gets rolled. Ah. Uh -huh. So there's some risk to teaming up. And there are dangerous pickups? Yep. Um, so you can team up and build a device your other free action. All right, so things that are dangerous. Um... If an agent is nearby a space that you're picking up from, so even though I'm not beside that agent, the agent is nearby this item, so if I pick this item up, that is a dangerous pickup. If I stop on or move through an agent space, that is uh, also dangerous. You immediately roll the danger die at that point. Um, what? I think there's one other danger thing. I'm gonna me. Can we move through cop car spaces as well? Um, I think... Or maybe if cop cars move on I to us? I think cop car spaces are irrelevant to us. Okay. They're just it's the timers. They're, they're just the timers, basically. Right. So ignore them. Um, it's just the agents. Is there anything we can do to slow down the cop cars, then? I assume? Uh, nope. Well, then why are there three? Because the loop because, because the game... Um, you roll... Oh, you roll dice. It's not just C one per turn. C I see. Be a, and so they, and they all get lucky or we're gonna get yeah. very unlucky. I, I mean, because if, if like we roll a ton of A's and A just gets the clearing first, that doesn't matter because you need all of them to get the clearing for the game to end. Oh, okay, never mind then. And then if you keep rolling A's while it's at the clearing, it's still fine. All right. So if we roll the uh, there's a question mark one, I mean, maybe like you can't you can't choose one that's already at the clearing, but you could if there's one that's one space from the clearing, you're like, well, one's gonna be get there anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I I'll look up what else is dangerous in a second. I think there's only one other thing. Um, if uh, if either we or ET get caught, which is an agent does a move and either is on our space or ends up on our space. Um, if we get caught, ET loses a heart light. If that gets zero, we lose also. Uh, ET loses a heart light and we get sent back home. If ET gets caught uh, by any of the agents, because um, each of our color is moving towards us. I mean, anyone can. If if I'm if this is here, and agent moves here, then blue is caught. But um, they generally move towards their respective color. Oh, cool. okay. um, if any agent catches ET, this keys who's going after ET teleports to ET, and ET is caught. ET loses heart life. And ET will continue being caught unless you get ET out of there in your next turn. Gotcha. Um, which will run the game. What if an agent is caught? Or not a... <laughs> sorry, if a, a kid, If a kid's uh, caught, child. you lose a point, the heart life point, and the... Uh, they, they're sent back here. Oh. And if ET and a kid are caught, you lose two points, and both those things happen. And you don't get pizza. Yeah, no pizza. You don't get pizza anyway, but... <laughs> <crumples up there. laughs> um, after you've done all of your basic actions and any free actions you're able to do, 
uh, you tr do the phone home step. If there are no dice in the clearing, we don't do the phone home step. We need to build devices. Um, I kind of skipped over building devices. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, and then <coughs> you uh, do the move enemy step, which is you roll these dice and also this die if there are any uh, kids or ET in a space with an agent. Um, and then you also roll this during a turn if you move through an agent space. Um, so building an item. These there are items of th these three colors, uh, and we need four of them on a standard difficulty to build the die. So like four greens, four blues, four four of a particular color. Uh, yeah. Four, four, four greens, four oranges, four blues. There are also wilds, which can be contributed towards things. Um, and once a die is um, built, you need to transport it to the clearing so that it can be rolled. And then any future um, items of that color can be dropped off at the clearing, if, if the die is already in the clearing. You can drop off that color at the clearing to get a free phone home. Gotcha. And what's the significance of the cubes on the... You have to build green here, you have to oh, build have blue to build. here, you have to build orange there. Gotcha. So you drop your four items of those colors in those spaces. Understood. Um, also, to build your item ET, you don't, it doesn't have to be on your spot, but ET has to be nearby the clearing. So, like, I could be, you could be here, ET could be there, and right. you build the item. Um, ramps, some of the items are ramps, and you immediately put them in a nearby space, and they let you jump two spaces in a straight line huh? along roads. Because that's how ramps work. Yep. Um, how do we get cards? You, if you have ET on your turn, you may, you, you may do the power of one of those cards. Hmm. Probably don't want to like heavy ET on us all the time because that is uh, all that always triggers a danger die. Mm. Um, don't, yeah, don't mention that one. So yeah, roll the danger die if, if agent is in spot with kids. Uh, roll the danger die if two kids are together at the end of a turn. Roll the danger die if basically if any allies are together. If we're with ET, you roll the danger die. If two kids are together, you roll the danger die at the end of a turn. You could try to pick up something adjacent to a. If you do, so picking picking something adjacent to an agent or moving through an agent spot, this happens during the turn. If anybody's together at the end of a turn, or if you are sitting on an agent spot, you roll the danger fail. So. All right. So don't hold on to ET. He is radioactive. That's <laughs> right. And then everyone has powers, which I have not read. Uh, I can discard when I discard candy to move ET. He moves up to three spaces instead. Ooh, that's very good. Once per turn, Gurney may take one dangerous pickup action without rolling the danger die. Uh, I have the equivalent mm. but for move. Mine is once per turn when taking a move action, Michael may travel along one shortcut for free. Ah. And how many movement points do we typically have? Three? Two. Two. Yeah, we get to do two things a turn, right? You can do three, three standard actions a turn. Gotcha. Or basic actions. Um, you also have to complete a basic action before you do another basic action. So you cannot move one, pick up, and then move your second one. Um, but you can do free actions in the middle. Understood. Um, jumping a ramp also ends your actions. You can't do one to a ramp, move two, and then another one. Gotcha. So basic basic action move is two spaces. Yeah. Okay. And when do we get? And we never get to see the items. You always pick them up blind. Um, you can. Yeah. You, I mean, once if you drop them, they become they stay face up. Yeah. So. All right. They become. And like if you if you have two items and you want a third because you don't want one of them you just drop one of them so like if we're working on the blue die and I pick up an orange like well I can drop that orange face up and pick it up later yeah all right Elliot take us away all right um, so I could just stay here and pick up I guess yep you could bring of us bring one of us one space right you could team up move one and then just move uh, one by himself or just team up in action no. Well, Team up is a free action. Walker, come with me. Yes. All right. Is this dangerous to us? Uh, only at the end of the turn. Only right? at the end of the turn. How? There we go. We move one. I pick this up. 
as a yellow coat hanger. It goes here. That is the end of your move if you do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I wanted an item. You could move two and have a different item. Well, now I know what this item that is. That is true. And I believe that will be it. Ooh, I don't have candy. How do we get candy? You do a, you just add, you just, the basic action of adding candy to the candy pool. Candy lets ET move. Ah, so we already have three available to We have to three work available with? to work with. Yeah, I see. No, that's fine. I mean, you could move again and leave Gertie there so you're not together. Mm -hmm. no, well, I've done two, right? I you have three actions. three actions. Oh, three actions, yes. right. Very, yeah, okay. definitely move again. Yeah, or pick up again. I don't. It doesn't <laughs> specify whether like us all starting in the same space triggers the danger dice. Or I, I it doubt does. it. I, I, I don't know. know. Well, like, it's, like it seems weird that it would, but also like we're not linked up though. Yeah, but we're in the same space. Whether or not you're linked up, it. Hmm. Like, uh, linking up just. Oh, also, if you're linked up, you can use each other's powers well, while you're linked up. You could have done a dangerous pickup. Uh, there, there, no, there are no dangerous picks up at the moment. No. But yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you can move two with the move. So, sure, let's go over near the yellow stuff. Done. And All right, then, then, we, then we do the phone home stage. There's no dice to roll. Um, and then we do the agent stage. Let's let's say we don't roll dice here because no. it's weird. Yeah. For, yeah, the wording could be that you start your move there. You don't actually start on the space. Yeah. Is maybe how it's worded. Yeah, I'm going to read that. Okay, uh, nothing and... Uh, your assigned agent moves two spaces closer to you. We choose the path, but it has to get closer every time. I think that's the best order. Where do, where do they actually start here? Yeah. Yeah, either one gets in there. Yeah, gets in there, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> First action, two spaces. One, two. Second action will both be to pick up. I'll pick up this one first. It is a blue item. <clears throat> then I'll pick up this one. Which is a yellow item. We have two yellow items. Indeed. Mm. And then we'll roll this, these dice. My purple agent is going to two times key. It means keys is going to move two spaces closer to ET. Ah. So you probably have the same spot as right. Either there. That, that, that would work too. Or there. Let's put them here. We want the agents together. Okay, here then. Any agent can catch anybody. You just. Man, I bet he's wishing he brought a car. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Jimbo. All right. So I'm you're not take a, No, I'm not yellow. You're right. So I'm going to take a move action, which means I get a free shortcut. Do you want to pull uh, Megan with you on this on the first move? Or yeah, do you plan on moving twice? Um, I, I might. I might. Well, actually, ET can stay there. I was just thinking I might, I might bring ET, but. I might as well. Bring we'll probably. Well, I, I can leave me leave me there. I'll bring E.T. somewhere because then we can start like bringing him closer to. All right, uh, and then maybe yellow. Uh, yeah, like if you if you, if you, especially if you get a yellow, like that'll yeah, we be well on our way too. Um, one two, and then I grab an item. It's green, and then I grab an item, and it's blue. All right, we're either yeah. building blue two, or one, yellow. Two. Well, and then I roll these. Yes. And keys so moves one, keys moves to one, and so does my. Yeah. So keys presumably go. And uh, yeah. Now if keys were to move two, keys would be in your spot, and you would be caught. Right. Um. All right. I'm gonna pick up ET just to interact with that. Um. You can grab that first the item in the first space there maybe and see what um, color I, it is and that could decide I, can't, I, I can i can move first and then grab it because yeah. it's, it's not currently True. i don't mean like yeah. immediately it's yeah. on your turn and then that could... i might also do one of these since let's i might actually do that i get extra basic actions yeah. but then i'm forced to keep et so danger die is going to get rolled that's fine um although that means the danger die is going to continue getting rolled take two basic actions this turn you must oh you okay i see why you have to keep ET. You probably just have to roll it once at the end of your turn, right? Um, well, I don't know if it keeps getting rolled if ET's consistently with a... Would you roll the die if you have ET in your basket just at the end of your turn? 
if you are in the same, if you are in the same ZT or another kid. Okay, so yeah, so it'll only be my turn. <coughs> That's fine. Okay, so I have done no uh, basic actions yet, so I get f five basic actions. So let's do one, two. Let's put one, second one. Go to blue. That's three blues. Mm -hmm. um, it's unfortunately, blue is like surrounded. Let's do another one here. Oh, we get a multi. Um, I think since I've got ET, I should probably keep away. I should probably keep away from you guys because the agents are going to be doing a lot of moving. Go one, two. Yeah. Two, and then I could do another pickup. How many yellows? How many? I have to drop Sorry, something. But because you moved, picked up, and moved. Four, so I think. Be yeah, I've, no, I've got. I've got two. Oh, you've got that. Got yeah. It. Sorry, how many things for? You a said you said four to build a device. Four items to build a device. Yeah. Gotcha. They don't. They don't exist yet. Are there yet. only four of each item? What's that? They don't exist yet. Or there oh, but do we not? Pick you don't. Them you, up you, do, we don't we don't put them there until the four items are there. Oh, okay. Um, and then I'll just I'll do this, and then I'll just drop an item like either the wild there or if this one's yellow, I'll drop the yellow there. It is a ramp. Okay, I don't even need to hold another item. Um, so it's going to go... Where we want it. How does the ramp work? Ramp means you get to jump uh, two spaces in a, in a line. So I do one, two. I see. Do it there. Even if that's impossible? I think so. Just as a straight line. Doesn't have to, sit, doesn't have to be. Like it can't be on a diagonal. And then we roll the dice. I roll the dice. <laughs> well, fine. Give me the responsibility. I'll get you all caught. No, it's you. Okay, so Keys moves twice towards ET, which means Keys is going to stop at. I don't guess Keys can go that way. Yeah. Keys could stop it. Uh, but, um, we can go that way. And then we move any cop car of our choice. Done. And then. We woo. Achieving power. Skies. Move each agent at special agent keys up to one place. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Uh, for building the. You have to jump isn't all in the road yet. For building the devices, do we have to all have be there simultaneously holding the items, or nope, do we you, just dump you, them? They on just people? you just dump them on the spot. Okay. So one. All right. Okay. Get get yellow going. <laughs> oh, it is. Uh, and then up to two with the movement. Yeah. I'd have to move through keys. You can move past me. Yellow's down here. You yeah, just but how much? One, two. Oh, there's a shortcut. Yeah. It was hidden behind my bicycle. Yeah. All of the two spaces have shortcuts in them. And then dump. Yeah, dropping is free. And so that's a move, a pick up, and you have one more action. Hmm. Done. Uh keys moves one towards E T. <laughs> and red moves two towards me. Hmm. I'm trapped. You're trapped. I was going to say, you were getting... Or do we want him with key? And one, then... two that way. And that way, you'll have that lane but free, it, right? that doesn't get him any closer. Each move has to bring him closer to... I suppose. Uh, go ahead. But it's so far away. Oh, no. Shortcuts, though, Mike. One, two. One, two. We can be in the same space. Yep, we just roll the danger die. Sure. You don't have a shortcut at that angle. One, two. Mm -hmm. And then double one, shortcut. Two. You don't have to join with me. No. Unless I you drop, want to. I drop that off. We freely share abilities. So that's two actions. You freely share items, that could be my question. Dropping off is a free action? It is. Um, drop so off an item. Nice. Really give and take item tiles. So yeah, if you want, if you wanted to join up, so um, you could then drive off this way if you wanted to, or yeah, back. Yeah. Well, well trade items if you wanted to join up, wild. we could just take that because we freely share items if we're joined up. 
And then we'd have our fourth item. Oh, but you just drop it there for free on your turn, right? Yes. Sure, but we could build it on your turn. Sure. We'll see. Yeah, unless you, if you want to leave, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Well, I mean, we, we can say we're joined, and then I can just drop it off, right? All right, there you go. We're joined. Because it's freely, 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 freely an action to give it to nope, me? Nope, freely no. share if we're joined. And then I freely drop it. Yep, and then um, building a... The cube is just built because ET is there. Picking up the cube is an action. Well, I mean, you've got one more action walker. You can just pick up the cube. But then we would be on the same space. Yeah. These are gone from the game. I will move. So any other yellows can be spent to boost the yellow die. One. Two. <coughs> Go ahead, Jim. Oh, you have to roll your blue dice. Actually, uh, going past here, I could just drop that off there on the way. Two blue sure. dice. There's no sense hanging on to it. My person moves one towards me. Which would be there. That's right. So let's see. There, let me jump off. All right. Uh, well, as a free action, I'll drop a coffee can off. Um... Yes, our yellow phone is made out of a battery, a coat hanger, a fork, and an umbrella. Of course. That's how you phone home. That's, that's how you build it's, it. it. It's a good antenna. Blue's kind of making my You got the umbrella, you got the fork, the battery's here. just giving it juice. <laughs> Do we want me to go grab the device and then peel out? Um, Megan's well. sitting right there. Wait, but Megan's already got E.T. I can grab true. the device. Oh, that's true, yeah. She's going to run away in that direction from the red guy anyway, probably. True, yeah, you're going to run away. If you're going to run away anyway, then. All right, so I will kind of boxed in by these agents. Yeah. If you want suggestions, I'd say maybe check with that. <coughs> yeah. Blue's at weird spot. So I will move. Yeah. So that's the end of my move action. Then I pick up. It's green. So then I will. Can you move through police car spaces, or is that dangerous? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, they're, they're not they're agents. They're just timers. So I will move. Again, <coughs> one free move, two, and then as a free action, I will drop these off there. And that was my three actions. Uh, keys moves one. Ooh, I gotta start moving. Well, it is your turn. Well, the problem is, um, so I, you can either move ET or the device. And I was gonna try for the device, but ET's looking like he might get no. caught. Oh, get the device. I was gonna say we were saying that Keegan's gonna Keegan get the device, device since okay. he's fleeing in that direction. Do anyway. I have any? Since I'm holding ET. Do you have psychic cannon? I don't think that was ever an ET thing. <laughs> You're thinking of Akira. <laughs> <coughs> I think we watch different ET movies. I could I could move the agents around a bit. Um, Is this one called Chess Burster? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I could I could just teleport ET away. To where? Anywhere. Move ET to any space that does not contain enemies. I don't go Kids with him, but I basically just he just vanishes and I'm like, where did he go? Well, I mean, you're welcome to send him over to me, which is literally on the other side of the board from yeah. Keys. True. If like if that agent gets you, he could be caught. But like presumably, <sighs> you're not gonna let that happen. So. No, I'm not, I'm I have no interest in getting caught by Blue. If I think this moves all the agents, but it's just one, so you got time. Well, let's do that then. I will I will since I have ET, I will spend Candy Trails with free action. He says move him to a space? A space, yeah, he doesn't okay. go to... He, oh, hey, up. E.T., how's it going? <laughs> Where'd you come from? Um, <coughs> oh, you're playing bully. Right, I'll pick up a device as a free action. I think I'm the older brother. Yeah. Um, and then I, once per turn, can do a dangerous move. Oh, once per dangerous. turn, though. Because if I jump, then I'm going to land on a freaking agent. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah the whole, actually, no, the whole thing's one move. They've kind of locked the... The whole thing's one move, and moving away from an agent isn't a problem, so that's fine. So I do a move, I get a jump, and that's all part of one move. Then I right. get to do my, that's all my one dangerous move, and then I'll do a second move. One. That's a dangerous move as well. It yeah, is, I think yeah. yellow's there, I think. Um, uh, one. Yeah. Two. <laughs> Just get, 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 try to get myself a bit of space away from the agent that's going to murder me. Um, free drop off. Free drop off. And then I have a third thing and uh, like moving anywhere is not really going to help me yeah. to be further from the agent so 
you could start your escape route for next turn because it won't be any closer to the agent if you move like to this if you move to yeah. that way for example yeah you get the agents away from that mm -hmm. dice you could also do a candy i guess I, uh, no first we roll the yellow die because it's now in the clearing oh i thought candy just moved et uh yeah but we could get more candy Oh, sorry, you could, yeah, as a free action, you could get candy. Sorry, as your yeah, one of your actions. Action. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's free to spend a candy. Woo! We have phoned all. We have phoned. All right, so... And then we do the agents. That is, on the end of all of our turns, we get to roll this? Then? Yep. Cool. And if we drop more yellows, I, I think it's a free... I'll double check, but I think it's a, just a free move of the... All right, car B moves... And then every agent? And then every agent moves one. Towards, Towards their, their kid. So Key no. is caught. So Key gets caught. There. And then Keys has to start going back towards um, T. Keys get moved on that. Keys does not move. Okay. Everybody else moves. Keys right. was closing in on E.T. Thought he thought he had him, and then he was just gone. What happens during catching? Just move right, me E.T. Back. loses a point. You are back here. I see. Way to go, Keegan. Actually, that's probably best for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, I was going to pick up a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm all the way over here with nothing to do. What was the other... Was it blank? Uh, it was car. I moved it. Oh, and we didn't roll the red because you weren't in a dangerous spot. Yeah. Right. There's one move. Additional... Move. That's a dangerous pickup. Oh, it's an agent. There are agents so everywhere have right now. You'd have to like scoot through here, basically, and then that if puts you. you this one, yeah, this one's. If you a take, safe if you take pickup. Walker with you, you can get this a free, one's a safe get a free pickup. pickup, but then you'd be leaving Walker in trouble. Double keys. Keys doesn't matter if keys moves. Yeah, keys so far away. Yeah, so more, more yellow well, items. Can, will keys can arrest us as well. Agent, free, free movement of that. Uh, if they're dropped there, or anybody. Um, there's two blanks. What's this one? That's move every All agents one. one closer, which will catch me. Yes. Yeah. Mm. All right. So there'd be a one. But there's one of those there's on the blue die anyway. It's possible anyway. Yeah, it's on the blue die. So you'd be doubling our chances. That's that's how uh, ratios work. I don't. I don't. It, yeah. Mm, it, so mm, it's two dice. It's double. I I really don't think that's how that. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up anyway. Right, roll the die. Well, uh, it's a ramp, right? So, it's a ramp just, so, if it's a dangerous pickup, you roll the die first and then resolve. But the ramp's going to happen anyway, because it's a ramp. All right, well, so Megan gets caught. Yep, E.T. loses the thing. And red moves to me. And purple, purple moves. moves towards Walker, and blue moves towards me. And, e. and now I can pick this up, because it's not dangerous. Once again, Keegan helps Keegan. No, I, it's a cooperative game, mm. helping all of us. I've just got a mm. wild forest. Mm. So, so, sorry, how's how getting Megan So this can go any home? of those spots. Was that helping? If you're happy, yeah, you're now I, I could have gone here. Now I can't go there. Because I can do safe pickups. Oh, you can go around this way. Yeah, but that's two moves now. True. And you do need to stay probably at least two to three spaces away from Have you done all of your... No, you haven't rolled these dice. Oh, yes. So every e. agent, so car B moves. You gotta get out of there. <laughs> every agent moves one. Purple's done. Right, any more? Uh, Red moves. Blue moves. Red goes that any way. Any more exclamation marks? Way. And e we're gonna lose or, two more points. Or do you want to go that way, Jimbo? It's your choice. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, sure. Put yeah, no, put him in. Put him with the car. Put him with the car. Yeah, then you can um, which way you want to get out. It's still my turn, right? No. no. Oh, that was the end of my turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me do that. That's so once during my turn, I can discard candy to move et three spaces. Mm. So it's going to make him run away. Yeah, you probably should have done that. <laughs> well, I didn't know. Yes, you were, you were going to roll so many exclamation marks? Yeah. Well, um... Where did this ramp go? Did you place the ramp? It's under him. Oh. Um, Walker can discard a candy as a free action to move E.T. one space away from me, right? Yeah. yeah. So that if Blue gets me, he only gets me and not E.T. Yeah. True. And that's a free action. Yeah. So let's just do that. Throw candy. Oof. Back to our supply. Um... Let's just do a crazy move because, 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 because. So one, two. If I hit the ramp, I get to do what? Uh, you get a jump. Oh, to and here. I should have phoned home. Yes, yeah. you should have phoned home. Yeah. Jump to here. Yeah. No phone. So that's a good spot for me. That was just one action. Yep. 
two actions. Mm-hmm. It's not. It is dangerous. But you get to but do. I get my. my you, could, you could do the other one for free. I'm gonna do it as well. Okay. Because it's gonna be my third danger action. die. First. I don't know. Oh, it's you get your free. You, yeah, that's right. And then this one is my second one. Two yellows. And have we looked that up yet? I can look yeah, up yeah, well. you drop them. If you drop each for each yellow, you drop in the clearing. This move. This moves. All right. Oh, it's not even a drop. roll. It just it's moves. Just what's yeah. the? Yeah. That's great. What's the? Do I do this first, then those dice, or those that dice first. first? This first. Nothing. Then these. I do like that mechanic because like dice mm-hmm. can screw you sometimes. So it's it's nice that it's just. So keys moves one, and then every agent so moves one. Yellow. Sorry, Jimbo. It happens. We've rolled it three turns in a row now. Uh, blue, so okay, we lose a life there. It's good we got the ET out of the way, at least. Yep. But, oh, ET is, ET is losing health. With purple. We'll do red yeah, first. Be fine. Red. We're half our health. And then yeah, that's fine. purple. And that's my turn. This is the only agent we have to worry about near ET. Is there anything we can do to increase this? As an no. action on your turn, you... Oh, yes, the health. Yeah, I see. Health, no. Maybe there's a ET. There, there might there be, could a be There could be a power, but... <coughs> Stop getting, putting ourselves in danger. That's that's a way. Yeah. Well, so here's the thing. All the agents are crowded around the items. It's true. Well, so we, do I just spend my turn could, hanging out here? Well, this is what I'm saying. I don't think there's a... Oh, there is a turn limit because the cars are eventually... But the cars aren't moving that fast. So yeah. the end of the game is not rushing. So true. maybe a strategy is to stay in a corner for a bit until they... And then, Draw and them and up then into quickly the... <coughs> move and get the items. Yeah, it just feels bad. Cars it does. Are, uh, could, and, could, and it's could, not you fun. Get some of these. Yeah. So as three actions, I'll do this. Roll the uh, phone home die. And there's no danger of ET being caught because Blue's going to beeline to me. Yeah. So would it would it be useful for Walker to pick up ET on a storm? Well, I guess Walker can decide to move ET if that's yeah exactly. Walker yeah, walk, just move ET towards and himself and then just be on the spot. Yeah. And then Car C see. moves again. Somebody's got to run over the agent. Hmm. And, and then, uh, and and blue, then moves blue moves two. two towards me. Yeah. All right. Megan. Megan. I can do dangerous moves. I can't do dangerous pickups. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Should I have moved? Because otherwise you and I are in the same spot. No, we're designating that home spot as safe. Yeah, we, we just, okay. just kind of decided. I thought it was just for the first turn. That's why I asked. Yeah. Uh, fair. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Actually, yeah, pass me that. Well, we're we're going to keep it that way, but yeah, it doesn't say. To, just to see. Well, I just want to see the wording. It's if they're ever in the same space. No, I meant the, the wording of the start space. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, Number eight. Yeah. Well, that's E.T. Is it? Yeah. Seven. Place the kids in ET. Where's the seven? Place Eight. the kids in ET on the space near Elliot's house. ET doesn't start in the kids' basket. Huh. Where's the end of turn? I suppose what that would have done is if we counted it the way it's written, um, the agents would have gotten extra moves towards us and split up a bit. On the first yeah. turn, yeah. Maybe. So maybe we should have done that. Well, they wouldn't have split up, but they would have been started further in. Yeah. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go one, two, and then my free, no, not my, my non-danger, my avoid danger mm-hmm. action to jump to here. I'm going to link up with you and steal your items. And then I'm going to do another move. One, two, and get those. And you can just link and delink the way we've been doing it? It like, says link and yeah. delink. Is, you can do as many free actions as you want. Weird. Okay. So I'm just going to... That also basically, link, link is just like we're, we're on the same space and we're sharing items. It's basically what we did. When more kids are on your space, you may team up with them with any with any of them, <coughs> with their permission. Yeah. Connecting your finger to your bases together, teaming up allows you to do all of those things. You can disconnect from one or more kids that you're teaming up with at any time, but if you end your move, <coughs> and bad yeah. stuff. <coughs> I mean, it's clearly incentivizing you to just team up partially and then do yeah. link. Um, so that's, did you do two moves? Yes, I moved the, the move to the thing. Okay, that's us. all my actions. I uh, roll the yellow die. Phone home. Yay, phone Yay, home. Yay, phone home. Why would item tiles block movement? Mm-hmm. Oh, because they, they're sort of in the zone thing? Is that what they're saying? No, there doesn't. Well, when you drop an item, maybe? Item tiles do not block movement. Well, because they're on where they're, uh, they're on shortcuts. The shortcuts. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah so they don't block movement. They're just kind of in this. Yeah, that's when I move that there. I meant 
because it could be on a shortcut. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, keys. I think either of those, and then yellow moves two towards me. So keys moves one to here. Yellow. Yellow moves two. Walker, would you prefer yellow be here or here? Oh, the, the other spot. Well, yellow is here. Yellow's moving two towards me. So one. And roll the... I already did. Oh, okay. All right. So I can use the ramp to go here? Yeah, uh, it's... I mm. think you, it's it not really effective to start because it's when you're doing a move. You, it, when you move on to a ramp. Ah. Uh, um, so that wouldn't count as one of my two movements to go there? No. Okay. Because like ramp, when you finish a ramp, your, your movement is done. Okay. So it has to be the last thing you do. So it wouldn't really be effective to use the ramp. I mean, you could just do a free movement, and it's the same either way. <laughs> or do, do a normal movement. Green. Green needs to get built. One more action. And I do have two wilds. Uh, all of the other items around you are dangerous pickups. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> so if you, if, if you go one, two, then you could jump to there or to here. Oh, here's a bit bad, but... Oh, if I go in a straight line, I can curve? Yeah, so it's, it's jump... You can, it's a straight line from the ramp. Hmm. Is my understanding. Well, it, I mean, pretty much the same either way, except I'd be on Walker's space, and then... We yeah, it's kind of dangerous, dangerous, so... Yeah. So but now you're two line. away, whereas if you jump over to here, you're much no, further bad, away. No, but he's in an agent spot, oh, and he just true. gets caught. <coughs> Um, shall I move ET? Do we want ET moved in a large number of spaces? Where's keys? We're not ready for anything yet, so. Yeah. Like, we want ET by the green if we're going to build it. Yeah, green. that's true. All right. Um, I will. <sighs> and the dice. Keys, keys moves choice. two. Towards ET. Straight up one, two. Ooh. All right. We could also put him here. Yeah, let's put him Maybe there. Maybe the same. He uses the ramp. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Man, these people run so much faster than cars drive. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't really been rolling cars at all. It's that mid-afternoon traffic, man. <laughs> <laughs> One. Maybe a causeway is down. Two. And you could do two pickups. Yeah, one not dangerous and one dangerous. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you could do one pickup and then take that item back with <coughs> you if, if it's a good color. True. Oh, which one? Let's take this one, because it's sort of in the middle of all these yeah. agents that are forming around. It is another green. You do want to build green. You want to build them all. But... Do we have any greens out in the wilderness? We do. A Keegan's got a and green. And I have a green and a wild. I have two actions. You have one action left. You You're move right. and a pickup. I can't. You could move and drop off a green. <coughs> I could. Well, instead, I was going to figure a way to like, team up and then grab yours and then do oh, yeah, both. Oh, yeah, I see. One. I don't want to be in the same space as ET. But it's going to have to be. Well, because like, you can do free actions Actually, no, I at any time. One, two, and be in this space. It even says you can do free actions in the in middle, middle of a turn. Of a basic so, yes, you could, so if you're doing a free action in the middle of a basic action, you could just grab the green on the way by. Okay, I grab Keegan's green, and then I drop them both off here. Now there are four there, and ET is also there. So we build the device. So we build the device. Yeah. Is that an action? Or yeah. I also become... realize I should have dropped this when I took your yellows because I can only have two items. Gotcha. Is building the device free? Um. Yeah, uh, picking it up is not. No. Pick... End of my turn. You don't roll that. It has to get to the clearing. But I want to roll it now, I know, I know, Megan. I know. Yes. Et home approaches. Home then I need these dice. These dice say A moves. He has, any, has not moved. And then. once again, the one in six chance of every agent moving has happened again. All right, I've been caught. So this goes down to two. Uh, Red has been moved. caught by. No, oh no, 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 he doesn't move. Right for that one. Um, purple, purple moves. Purple. It doesn't really matter. Go that way. Go that way. Away from the tokens, yeah. Um, and yeah. All right, blue, take us away. So 
So I can rescue Red and get him away from danger. Probably good. All right. So I'm going to move so I get a free shortcut. Then I move one, two. Then I move free action to join up with Red. Then two. I get one more move. Free so action. I free. Sorry. So I don't, I don't want to interrupt. Are, are you allowed to do free actions to interrupt, right? Yes. Yeah. Is ET allowed to use? I'm saying you could. Another idea would be to move ET here with a piece of candy and then take him with you towards the clearing. But that doesn't matter. We want the die. Keep going. We, we, the die's already done. Die's so, built. True. I thought. Um, I mean, you could take ET with you to the clearing if you want. I thought the. So then, free action, move. You have to pick up ET on his spot, though, so you can't do that. So, no, I have him move. Okay, oh, move right. Can then, he yeah. travel on the shortcuts? Yep, if he's in your okay. basket. Yeah, so I, think I, spent, he, I think he can just oh. normally, too. I spent the candy yeah. to yeah, have him yeah, move right, the shortcut yes. to here, and then I pick him up. Yeah. So I'm, that's that there. So red is slightly safe. So then I'm going to... You also, because you have ET, you could use one of those powers. Item to disguise is pretty damn good. I was going to say, I'm yeah. thinking disguise. Just move everything away from... And is yeah. it an action? It, nope. It's a free action. Okay, so then I'm going to... Because you have ET. So I move blue over here. I move way, purple over here. I move you red. Move purple. Yeah, well, actually, no, that's better. I move red over I do, here. I, I can do a dangerous move. I move keys over here. Yeah, yellow. sorry, you'll have to zip. And then I move yellow yeah. over here. Yeah, probably. yeah that works too. Okay, so that was a free action. Then... I think that was your three actions because you did a lot of moving. I've only moved one. I've only moved twice because of my free... I get free... Uh, I think pick you, it, get, so you get one free, though. So nothing. Nothing. I think ET is picking up, pick up one, ET. One oh, action. once per turn, one, yeah. One, two, three. So I then... I have one more piece of movement, which will be to drop off. I think that was... That's one. That's one, two. That's one, two. And that's one, two. So that's it. Okay, never mind then. Where were we? Were we there or Whatever. there? Yeah, red die. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, it's probably about right. And nothing. That was a good die roll. <laughs> it was a really good die roll. Okay. Um, you could also drop ET for free if you don't want them in your basket. This um, one. What was our new card? Welcome to Earth. Take three candy tokens from the supply. Okay. So if you're running low on candy, that's good. We're all right right now, but... Just a free extra move, basically. Ah, cool. Hmm. Um, all right, what do we need? We need to get that... Green to the. Th I mean, I'm nowhere near that. You, Walker can probably do that. Um, I could go get some items, I guess. One move, and I can ignore that for once. One move. Um. I have a wild. I'm pretty so far away, f uh, although red's going to... Oh, no, red could go that way. That would be either way. If you... If, yeah, if, on the if, off if, chance if, that either of those are blue, then you can check them onto the blue heap. Yeah. I can finish blue on my turn. It is green. But if we get green to there, then we can drop it over there. There is a blue over here. Hmm. I had to drop it there. I didn't do it earlier. I forgot to. That is three actions. Mm -hmm. I don't Two, think there's any free things I can do. Could it not have been traded to Walker instead of dropped? Because you were taking Walker's items? Oh, I could, yeah, could, could have given it to Walker. Uh, I think, no, Walker did some trading later, though, that um, where he would have been full, so I just leave it. Gotcha. Keys is not in a great place for trying to build that blue. Nope. Gotta get keys away from there. Okay, if I get E.T. in my basket, mm -hmm. and, and, and then pick up that blue, so you have one, two, grab a blue, one, drop it off, and then keys is two away. We, but then 
Move a blue item. Well, I mean, you can, one, drop it off, and then two... I mean, you could just... There, and then you still have a third action. To play around. Put, I mean, you could also candy. use a bunch of candy to move, like, so you could just... Move E.T. away. You could just, like... Build it, and then... Build maybe, it. And I can make E.T. move very far. Yeah, so... Yeah. Right. All right. Can I just take E.T. out of your basket? I, I think yep, so. Yep, you can freely share E.T. As a, as a linked up. Okay, get, get away. But that's an action, right? Picking something up? Not easy. Pick oh, up, an, not easy. Up, pick uh, up an, a, a device or an item. One, two. There's two so actions. Pick up or drop ET is a free action. Three actions. Build blue. So all your basic actions are done. Blue has been built. I'll spend a candy. That is a. Is that is that a dangerous? I think that might be dangerous. Why? What? No, picking up the device would be dangerous. Okay. Uh, and we'll have ET scamper. Oh, wait. I mean, we do want him there, although we don't want keys to be there, but we're, we're pretty close with that. You the... get to move ET with, for three for one candy? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's crazy. Problem. All right. How are we doing? All done? You have to roll some blue dice. Oh, you roll the yellow die first. Nothing. Okay. Now you roll the blue die. Yeah. C and blank. And I'm assuming the cop card doesn't make it dangerous. I can do a yeah, it's not an pick up anyway. Dangerous pick up free. So one action. One action. Moving. Mm. One, two, three. It's three, right? It's two. It's two. So that'll be all of my actions. Yeah, but dropping is free. But I might as well be on. No, I'll stay there. That's fine. I'll drop it there for free. All right, rolling these dice. I'm assuming uh, mothership here and yeah. ET in any of those spots. In any yeah. of those spots means we win. Yeah. A moves. A moves. And my agent moves to here. You can move it to there, and then they could all be together. <laughs> True. I either of those is closer to you. Drop the grenade in one spot and we'd be done. <laughs> Alright, Jumbo. Alright. Um, well, I mean, we need the device, right? Yeah, this I mean, is... Uh, oh yeah, it's right there too. <coughs> he's not right there. Although it would be a dangerous pickup, yeah. just so you know. Yeah, it is a, it is a little dangerous pickup. But we're, we're pick close up. enough to winning that we can afford some... Famous last words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, can you keep saying these things and then... <laughs> Is that? Oh, it's 1243 already. We're 15 minutes into our so I'll move Dune one. Imperium time. Mm. And then uh, I'll just take I'll take the dangerous pickup. All right, roll the die before you pick up, technically. Keys moves, moves two. Twice, which unfortunately means... So well, move him to me, and then I'll be caught. No, he can go one, two. Those are both oh, closer yep, to yep. ET. He's focused on ET, not if, us. Yeah, if he, if he moves to this way, he would just stop at me. He wouldn't get you. Right. And then as I move, I get a free move to here. Free drop off. Move, move. Ooh. Nothing. Uh, a moves one. Yeah. It's the ramp. Dukes Break, breaks an axle. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think we all want to run away now. Um, I guess it's just keys that we're worried about reaching. Yeah, keys is a big problem right now. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Oh, we'll get Keegan to candy ET away one, for now. Two. Um, I'm gonna do a pickup for my second, and then I, for, I will freely drop both of these items here to get. Yep. Uh, and then we might just win on Megan's turn. Which would um, be great. And then I will just, for, for safety's sake, um,. I'm going to get away from you, although I can go here. Ooh, I can go here, and then I can jump. All right. Then I'm, I'm, I'll drag the yellow agent away. So roll the three. Roll your dice. If none of them are, if none of them are phones, then we're still playing. One phone. Oh. And he's there. And each, do they I don't, put, I don't no, think doesn't we, he have to? Doesn't it have to come into the? Um. It has to come into the. Oh the yeah, clear. there's another space. Slot. Oh, there is yeah. one. There is yeah. another space. That's fine. We'll make it happen on my turn. All right. Go ahead. Oh, yes, yeah, so you go into the forest clearing. So key moves, keys moves twice. Ooh, you're caught then. 
Hopper. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. We so we lose a heart light. And we're, then, we're down to our last heart light. And then I would suggest that Keegan immediately tucks E.T. up into the corner. Yeah. With uh, a... Yep. Done. He goes over to here. And then... Oh, I can roll the dice. Oh, it's not my turn. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. He's already caught. I mean, nothing turn. really useful. Well, actually, <coughs> you can yeah, I mean, pick you this can, up. Yeah. It's wild. That's one action. One, two... Well, you can just be in the clearing. Yeah, just one. Oh it's yeah, a, a I keep thinking I have to. It's oh, it's, that's it, keys. It's Never keys, mind. Yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do your do your yeah. full round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then drop that to move the ship. And then Et goes home. Yeah, and, goes you're, home. You're, you're and hey, look, it was Elliot who did it. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Elliot. Because the engine falls. Oh, that's too bad for Elliot. And that is. <laughs> <coughs> Et the X. That's a great family game, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That. And that was and that was a good balance because we were like really close to losing on that. Mm -hmm. we, we were, were very way. close to losing. All this weight on the top, you got to take All it right. off. Making so now we'll spin it. switch it to <laughs> Dune. Here we go. Let's switch the the. information. I think I forgot to switch it from Innocent to E.T., but that's okay. Is <coughs> your bag for all these, Reagan? I'm trying to debate which bag does it like, really, really matters. That's way we'll get Doom set up. You put all the agents in there, too. And the cards. And the agents and cards. Yeah. And the... And all in the bases, I assume? Eh, I'll take, yeah, I'll take the bases. Looking the bases everywhere. All right, the title has been updated. <coughs> and, and the candy and the ramp. Ah, big old token bag. Yep. The, the uh, ET and the dedicated, the, the mothership and the dedicated slot. <laughs> and the dedicated pole. Yeah, uh, I like that. That was a good family go up. Green, red, kind of yellow. This is the one with sandworms. Oh, what are these tokens? This is something we don't need either. Have you played this? Oh yet? no, we do, do. Yes, I have. Okay. I got. I think I've got everything ET related. I have played I blue, the OG with expansion. The first expansion. I have not played this. Ooh, Ooh Fade Ralph. I think we have to. Ah, Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Who do I want to be? <coughs> pick one of those. We got some water. We got some of those. All right. I don't know why, like, when I think of walking, like the the my my personal go to Christopher Walken role is Ripper, the FMV video game. Hunger Gamer, you have just in time to for, for our our doom. We're all set. We just finished almost innocent and ET. Yeah, uh, <coughs> we did. Light years from home. <coughs> We did an unboxing of oh, Dune Imperium. We got the Chome cards already in here because we're gonna play with the Chome module. It's not that big a deal. This will be the game where I just don't stop talking about all the lore and the references. See, there are dots at the top, Keegan, and that'll tell you the difficulty of uh, the complexity. I see. I was just going based on which character I like the most. We and we did play Fractal yesterday. Gurney. Just so you know. But you'll have to wait <coughs> for Monday to hear what we thought. <coughs> Alright. Uh, do I just want to go without diplomacy? Start the game without diplomacy. Do I not have any of my. Here they are, trays. Alright. Thank you. We're gonna have. We'll put that. There's only the one offering one up there. What do we do with it? We need an offering. There's the rule book. I believe it's five. Shuffle up a little bit more. Give us an offering of X. I'm gonna take Irulan. It's a uh, difficulty level two. I don't really. The level three one seems. I don't know what spies do. So. Those are. What are these? Don't know what these are. Where? What? Goes away. 
this goes oh is this all extra stuff that oh this is extra stuff i saw that one token and i thought it was i thought it was something i needed it is not money water spice fire when you say offering do you mean imperium dick uh, that's the Imperium deck, yes. You said offering. Oh, well, I meant there'll be a, like an offering, whatever oh, they want to call that. Market, <laughs> okay. something. I don't, I'm just not saying the word offering, so I don't know if there's something I was supposed to. And then these are cards we can always buy. And these are other worms we can it's use. Imperium room. Yeah, how does these work? Oh, tell me. I'm going to turn from water. Oh, here's another card that we can always have. Do we still have one guy locked up on the top of the board somewhere? Yes. Your Swordmaster. And who wants to choose next? The dots on the top tell you the difficulty. Uh, <coughs> one dot. Probably. No, you don't get to wait to hear the rules before you choose. Well, the, I would have taken the level 3 one, but it's all new rule stuff, so... Here's the first player marker. Shy Hulud. Right, washer, I'm back. Uh. Sure. I don't know. I have no, I have no notion of who I'm picking. <laughs> Mostly picked on. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty aesthetic. much picking on aesthetic and what I remember from the books is who's slightly less of a jerk. Goodness, more intrigue cards. Why is this deck? Objectives. Oh, I see. Four and six. Four and six. If we shuffle the intrigue deck and place it face down. And then these two are always used. This is only for one to three. Intrigue deck, there you are. Everyone's picked but me. There's all oh, the first conflict. These are all conflict. Oh, can you give me the conflict rundown? I believe there is one, one, one that will go uh, over the top. Conflict cards by their backs. Conflict one, two, and three. Shuffle four conflict three cards and place all of them face down. Marked area. Shuffle the nine conflict two cards and deal five face down. Uh, so all the conflict threes. So all four, four conflict threes. There should should be all. Of them. There was four, yeah. Uh, there should be nine conflict twos and you should be dealing five of them face down. One, two, three, four, five. And, and then there should the be three one. conflict ones, and you should do one of them. Done. Conflict deck made. Then we're each going to get one of these randomly. This will tell us who our first player is. One, and one, and one, and one. And then I can pick one of these. We place the shield wall token in the marked area. Done. Great. Nope. You don't want to be paid, Rafa? No, it seems too complicated. That, for, that part you ignore. That's for, I believe, for when he's... I could be wrong. Maybe that's his... Uh, his yeah, so he does fancy No, stuff. he has a token on here, yeah. and when you use your ring, you move the token. Gotcha. That actually seems kind of cool. It does, but I mean, I'm going to be teaching and, and doing other stuff. Yeah. I don't. <coughs> How did I, if I had played him before, then yes. Ah, oh, she seems interesting. I will, I will take her. And then everyone gets one of these backside because it has the player ref. I'm going to take the Christopher Walken this card. This one does not have the player ref. All right, then you can have that one. Weird. I'll take that. I'm going to be the solo opponent. All right, you can flip mm -hmm. up your objective card, and someone has the worm on it. Wants, wants to block his. We have two knives. There's like a little worm circle on the bottom of one of them. Where's his? Ours are identical. Oh, I had it. <laughs> <laughs> one to three. I flipped over the one that was taken out. That's my mistake. Sorry. I'm the first player. Sorry. I flipped over the wrong one. All right. Jim was sort of played this before, but we do have some additional stuff. 
Keegan, if you want to open this bag, get rid of all of these dark green ones, the other ones, shuffle them up and put them into a pile, please. All right. But everyone's played normal Doom, correct? So you get the, the premise. Mm -hmm. You're going to be taking one of your uh, workers, uh, agents, and a card and using it on a space. And the card's got to... The card has to say. So if it's I play this card, with that's a bad example because it's green. If I played this card, I could go... I could put my agent on any blue space. And the blue spaces are here. There are yellow triangle spaces and there are green octagon spaces and then I would use this card type of card to go to any of these spaces here and then you do what the space says some of the spaces have a cost that is printed just underneath the space in this case you would spend a number of spice what that is referring to is this cost here there's no additional cost it's just saying you will spend a cost to do something three water, so on and so forth, five spice, four spice, water. <coughs> Let's cover these spaces here. If you go here, you move up this track. As soon as you make it to here, you get a victory point. We're all going to put a token of some kind, probably a cube. I, I think it's one of the, <coughs> it might be one of the circular tokens. Oh, do we have circles? Well, they're little cute square spaces highlighted on the... Oh, no, I meant for victory points. Oh, we use yeah. this big cylinder here, yeah. probably. The other cylinders for some... Oh, here. We put the other cylinder up here. Oh, but right. It's not there yet. <coughs> All right, let's start with these. some more candy. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. When you get to the second space, you get a victory point. You simply give yourself a victory point. When you get into the gold, you get whatever's printed here. And if you're highest on the gold, you take this token, and it gives you another victory point. There are things that will move you down, and if you move back in, you get the thing again. If someone moves higher than you on here, they take this away from you. You lose a victory point, they gain a victory point. <coughs> this is symbol for drawing a card. This is symbol for burning a card. I believe it is out of your hand or discard pile. It's on the back of the book. Troy Deer. Oh, Trash. Uh... does not say there. We'll figure it out. Uh, this is gain an entry card, and anyone that has four more has to give you one of their entry cards. Is it give or? It might be discarded. It just starts discarded. In the original, I think it was discarded. Gain one influence with the Ben Jesser draw an entry card. Each opponent who has four or more must give you one oh, of their selected. Okay. <coughs> Draw a card, and then this is a spy thing. This is going to be a new thing. We'll cover it in a minute. Water, troops. Remember how troops work. You have some troops in your garrison. Megan's got to tell us how many we start with. I think it is two. Um, everyone takes a water and places in their supply. If you've done that already. Should one in your bag. It was one in my bag. I did not have one. Nope. Uh, place two of your agents on your leader. Place your third agent next to the game board. Kind of going down in order. Um, place one of your two discs on the score track and four player game. Place it on the one space. Yep. Done. Uh, place your combat marker. Uh, with the side with the non time twenty side um, on zero space in the combat track. Place four cubes, one each, on the bottom space of the influence track of the four factions. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. The twelve, cu twelve cubes represent your troops. Place three in one of the four circular garrisons in the game board. Each player can take in the closest to them. All right. So. With your main bonus in your supply. Here are a few other players. Any spaces that have cubes obviously takes cubes and puts them into your garrison. Any space that has a cross sword, those cubes could go directly into the combat. Also, two cubes from your garrison can then also go into the combat if it's a sword space. Any questions on that? All right, moving on. Let's talk about the spies now because the spies are new. 
there are all these spaces here <clears throat> that are linked to all of the action spaces. This is the symbol for putting a spy out. There are two things you can do with a spy. Both of them require to, you to have a spy on the board, and both of them will remove the spy from the board. The board. One is to allow you to place a worker where there's already a worker. Mm. That spy has to be connected to that space. The other one is if you place a worker that is connected, you can remove that to draw a card. I see. It will not allow you to buy, do both. I can't push someone out, push, like put it here where someone is and then and remove it and also get a card because I'm going there. <coughs> it's one or the other. I go here and I remove it to draw a card. Keegan's here. I go here and remove it to allow me to go there because Keegan's there. That is all of what spies do. There are a bunch of other things. Uh, there might be a, see this uh, the little eye symbol? There might be an eye symbol on a card. That, I mean, like along here. Mm. That means you get to go to a space that where you have a spy connected. Any questions on how spies work? Let's talk about what this thing is. And it has to do with worms. You can get worms into combat. They never go in your garrison. They always go right into combat. Like here. But you have to, usually, you have to get one of these first. <coughs> You'll get it by going here. There might be a card that gets, gets it for you. I don't think there is. So first you get this, and it goes here. And it's there for the rest of the game. From then on, whenever you have symbols like this, it means you get a worm. Why do you want a worm? Well, <coughs> two reasons. They're worth three in combat, whereas cubes are only worth two. <coughs> Secondly, if you win the combat and you have a worm, you get to do the thing twice. Oh. Fancy. Any questions on how worms work? Just like troops, they're gone at the end of the fight. And they cannot be deployed against these things unless the barrier wall yes, is destroyed. That, yes, that has, that, yeah, that's the next thing. <clears throat> There'll be a fight. It'll tell you where it is. If it's one of those places, you can't use worms in that place. How do you get rid of this? That is what... Th I saw the symbol. That is what this symbol is. It destroys that. <clears throat> Once it's destroyed, it's gone for the rest of the game, and then you can use worms in those battles. Does everyone remember these things? They go there. And then when, whenever someone takes that. Yeah. else has I played this game? Has it? Okay, well, there be, might be a fight that says the fight's here, and if you win, you get to put your token okay. there. Anyone goes there, including you, you get the benefit. What's the special thing? If this card comes up again, not the actual, because it can't be the same combat card twice, but we might be fighting in that same area. It might be another card that says Imperial Basin. You get to take a card, uh, a cube from off board and put it directly into the combat area that turn because you have a token here. <coughs> We're going to forget that, so it doesn't matter. So, play card with an agent. We do that until you don't have any agents. <coughs> and then you are forced to do what they call a reveal turn. So there it is there. We draw a new conflict, we make sure we have five cards in our hand, then we play a card and choose a space, matching the agent icon, we do that. Then <coughs> you've, you're forced to take a reveal turn. Reveal the rest of your cards, you get the rewards that are in the blue, anything that's in the gray you get when you do the action, the rewards in the blue is when you do the reveal, <coughs> you add up how much income you get including if you've gone here to get the two, and then you get to buy cards. You can always buy those those two. Those are the other ones you can buy. Then you set up... Cost your, is in the upper right corner. Then you set up your combat strength. Every two cubes that you have in here are worth two, worms are worth one, and you set your strength. And then you're done for the combat part for now. Once everyone has done the reveal turn, then you do combat. And then in player order, if you're in the combat, you start to get to play intrigue cards. There are uh, 
three types of infantry cards, I think. I think there, there are instants that have nothing to do with battle. There's combat ones, and then there's end of game ones. <coughs> so at this time, you'll play the combat ones. Everyone has to pass on playing infantry cards for the for the infantry card step to be done. So you could pass. Someone will play an infantry card. It comes back to you. Then you could play one. It doesn't. The infantry card step doesn't finish until everyone has passed. Questions? All right. Whoever wins combat gets the top, second, third, because we're playing four-player game. If there's a tie for first, then the two people will get the second. Second will get third. Third will get nothing. Nothing. Questions? Moving on. Then we do what's called makers. All that means is all these worm symbols get a spice, which means when you go there, you get the spice that's there. Questions? Moving on. Then we do recall. You check for end game. Does anyone have 10 points? The game will end. You take your, all your agents back. The first player marker moves. I think I've covered everything. The first thing you do here is you pay five and you put a token here. You'll get two everything. Every time you go there after that, you pay the five. You get two spice, an entry card, and three cubes. That's a new space. Any other thing funky that's a new space? Assembly. Oh, I didn't yes. talk about oh. these. Where's my tokens I asked you? Here we go. These are here. This is the Chome expansion. You're looking for symbols like this. It means you take one of these. Whenever you do the thing on the left, you get the thing on the right. So this is simply put an agent on a on the high on the spice refinery, which is here. If I ever put an agent there, this like if I go here or any other thing that gives me the symbol, I take this. I put it in front of me. Next time I go there, I get a water. Is and that's that forever. No, that's then it's then it's complete. And oh, I flip okay. it down. Gotcha. And it's done. And, and, you get the, other... and you get the chome tiles here and here, at least on the board. For now, yeah. Uh, I think I covered everything. Did, right. I, did we miss anything here? Excellent. Lore me. Uh, Someone wants all the lore. Shipping, yeah, you need. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, shipping? Yeah, you need influence the spacing guild. Yep. Or not spacing guild. Two, in, um, two influence in the oh spacing yeah. guild, yeah, and you have to pay three spice to do the top. Yeah. Same here, you need four spice to do this action, five spice to do that action. This is kill a... Uh, so you discard card discard an entry card to get another one. You and like what? You want. and uh, Imperial privilege. You must have two or more influence of the Empire. You have to pay three Solari. You may discard an intrigue card to draw an intrigue card. Recall one of your other agents from the board and draw a card. So it lets you place, it lets you get more placements that turn. So third master is slightly different. The first person that goes there has to pay eight. Everyone else just has to pay six. And that gets your extra dude. That gets your extra action. But it's not as great as it seems because that means you're going to be using an extra card every turn. It was written here: recruit one troop and trash a card. No, what? But from where? Oh, from where? I see. Gotcha. You'll be on the back of the book. Yeah. Double check what. Trashing means. I think it me. I think it is uh, hand or discard pile. From your hand, discard pile, or in play. Return to the game box. So everyone starts with water. Three. Everyone has three sp uh, spies. Yes. How many cards do we start with? <coughs> five. Probably five. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see. We'll see All how right, much. So what's everybody's power? My, my brain has retained. <laughs> Yeah, we'll walk through it. It's yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> we'll, we'll walk through it. Oh, I did not cover these. As you can see here, I have a mouse. Mm. This conflict has a knife. So if you win this, you've got a pair of knives. You flip them over, you get a victory point. Every time you get a pair, you get a victory point. Oh, that's a new way to get points. That's a new way. What's an alliance? <clears throat> I believe Your once you get into the gold. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think so. Yes, my power is when I have two influence with the Emperor, I gain an Intrigue card. My fancy ring, um, I can get a card that costs one for free, or trash a card from my hand. If it costs one or more, I gain two spice. Yes, everyone has a Regent card, or what was it called? A Signet Ring card, and, and it's talking about a... Uh... 
My signet ring is draw a card for my for my deck. That is amazing. Um, my my uh, on a reveal turn, if I have one or more sandworms in the conflict, I get an intrigue. I think is what that means. Yeah, you get to draw an intrigue card. Yeah. Uh, mine is desert scouts. During the reveal turn, I can retreat one of my troops, which I assume means I pull it back to my garrison. Yes. Yeah. And fill coffers. I gain a for the signet ring. I gain a solari. If I have an alliance, I also gain a spice. So I hate all my cards. That's okay because that's okay because they hate you. And I hate Keegan. Yeah, that's fair. That um, kind of goes without saying. Like who doesn't really when you think about it? So we don't start with intrigue cards or anything, do we? Nope. Don't think so. Okay. Intrigue. You. Intrigue. Well, I like that. Let's go there. I play Dune the Desert Planet, which is an orange. Let's me go here. I get to take High Council is what? High uh, Council. Sure, I'm eventually going to go there. I will take that. Do we replace it? I will look that up in a minute. And I also get to draw a card. Is Chome stuff in here? Yep. Yeah, I'll pass it to me. Go ahead, Jimbo. Chome stuff. At the back, little Chome. Little Chome extra. All right, I'm going to play <coughs> Seek Allies. I'm going to seek allies. What is a round? Did you play our... Until we all pass, I okay. suspect. I am going to seek... So currently, two actions a piece. Ah. Two dudes. All right, this one's a little funky. It's whenever you do any harvest, that means going to any of the yellow spots and spending at least three spice. Gaining at least three spice from the harvest. Gaining at least three spice from the harvest. Yes, just so. So I will go to Dutiful Service. Um, so I What's go your up player one. order again for next round? It moves. It'll go to Jumbo mm. next. Mm. That's right here on the harvest, I guess. Mm. Pass for square marker. Uh, and then, so and then seek ally. Sorry, and then I play Signet Ring. Uh, I get to put a guy in yellow, blue, or green. So I'm assuming it doesn't count this. Like, um, wait, you, wait. you already went there. I mean, you already went there. Yeah. You only do one thing. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. One thing paired with. The so three. I assume if I go to here and get the four spice, that does not count as the three plus from harvest. It probably would. Yes. It does or it does not. It pass. does. One hundred percent does. All right, then. Good to know. So, how might you, um, like, the only have two guys, like, why do you, so it's always draw a hand of five cards, is it draw up to five, or? No, nope. so you, you'll start, start the round with five, um, when you pass, yeah. you get money to buy with based on the cards you haven't played You yet. haven't played, okay. Yeah. Whatever you don't play to go to a spot, you keep in your hand to okay. get, yes. get your so money to buy That, that is around. whenever you go to any three of these spots. Mm -hmm. Make responses specifically in the book, uh, and if during that turn you in any way get three spice, no matter how you do it, you've completed it. Okay. Um. <coughs> so if you go to the highliner, which is here, which requires five spice, you get two additional cubes. How do Crazy. you get worms? I'm, I'm supposed so to you, want worms. You go here. Sorry, first you go here to the Sitch to Bar. And so you have to have at least two influence in... Uh, so first you have to get try to get influence Fremen. up in the Fremen. Great, let's do that. Go up in Fremen. Seek, seek allies. So you, Yellow goes up you in can Fremen. You can either go here and spend water, or go here and not spend water. But draw a card. Here you'll draw a card. Here you'll get a cube in your garrison, and get to burn a card out of your something. Um, I'll, I'll just get a draw a card for now. Okay. <coughs> Keegan. All right. And then mm. Seek Allies trashes itself. Yep. See, I'm already trashing something, so... Yep, me too. So I don't need to trash another thing. To... I don't exactly, have... we don't need to go crazy here. One, two, three, four, five, eight, uh, Yeah, <laughs> I'm going Lady to go, go to... Crazy. Arakeen, I suspect. Oh, I'd have an extra buck if I went there. Um, one, two, three. So I have one influence, I need another one to be able to... Be able to... Yeah, to be able to go to the Sitch to Bar. Okay. Hmm. 
Man, I don't remember strategy of this at all. Also like, I remember, like, aesthetically, like, oh, yes, the... Oh, yeah, Stra strategy-wise, I have no and, like, idea. Just, like, in game plan, I'm just kind of like, uh... There used to be space I'm, where you just got like, money. I'm, I'm basically not doing anything. I'm basically focusing on this, where I, I'm just I, like... I, oh, I figure, I figure uh, I want sidearms, I, I guess. <laughs> yep. Into the conflict. If you want. I do want. Yeah, it was, want it was here, Walker, because... If you're not playing with the Chum expansion, oh, no, no, but just money. in the basic game, there was a spot up here that got you like three money, and you didn't have to do anything. I'm pretty sure it was this spot instead of getting the Chum. It oh, just no, gave... no, the basic game, like the very first. That's what I'm talking. No, there was about. no, there was no Chum in the basic game. Yes, yes, this you're space on the board. Oh, sorry, <laughs> over there. No, it wasn't a. It was something. It's, it's, it was instead something instead over of there. a Chum expansion, there was money. Gotcha. And, yeah, because this whole section didn't exist because it says Chum over here. Gotcha. Yeah, it was all just the lance rod. All right. I am going to. I thought I had it planned out, but it's now gone. Uh, so blue. Oh, I do have my signet ring. And that will let me put a spy on blue. So I should have a yellow cube moved up in my thing. Yes, in Fremen. Sorry. To go there again. How do we get more seek allies? Get that was a card on the board before, right? How do you? How do you which? Get more seek allies. Uh, I don't. Or think, is there no version of that? In the I don't so believe that there's a, a that. version of that. Oh, yeah, we have to prepare the weight. The weight. There's more. Oh, abilities. they're in the deck now. Rather. Yeah, because <laughs> before it was just a default card that let you advance on others. Gotcha. How do you get water? Uh, um. That's a really good question. Siege to Bear has water? Yeah, but you Siege can't go to you, can't, uh, can't. Oh, uh, Deliver Supplies has water. Deliver supplies. Okay. It's hard. It's Dune. It's a desert. See, this is why I didn't want to spend water to immediately. I only have one water. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Yeah, no kidding. Two spice. I want to cost me water. Sure. No, I played a... Yeah, I can't go there. Spend my water. I get two spice. And I also get to put a spy onto blue. Because my signet ring says so. It will go here. And I'm done. Go ahead. I will play signet ring. When I play signet ring, I get a Solari. I get, uh, what happens first, this or the gray part? Either, either your choice. Your choice. Okay. I go here to the spice refinery. I pay zero spice to get two more Solari. And I am done. Go ahead, Megan. Oh, that's what I meant to do, sorry. This, I have the swords. I put oh, yeah. up to two. A sword. So a sword lets me put up to two? Up to two. Um... Do we get money? <laughs> uh, selling spice selling here, spice. usually. Spice, okay. uh, where I went, get five here. Yeah, but you need, yeah, need three spice. spice. Yeah. And um, you get spice by going where Walker went, or... Or these various places. That one costs a lot of water. That is... What is plus sand So it's going to accumulate. Uh, yeah. If no one goes there, it accumulates. Uh, only, uh, right, so. only if no one goes there. Like, this so, one so will this, not this, get one. Okay. Um, sure. Are entry cards good? I could get an entry card. Entry cards are usually good. They can give you uh, combat for the combat area. Um, they can In also give you... Immediate effects for non-combat or yeah. end of game scoring. They're kind of like a shenanigan card. Okay, I will go, I will go here. And have an extra buck to spend during the time that we buy it. And because of the the singer ring, you get you get that card. That's an entry card too. <sighs> Interesting. Water intrigue. Or okay, well, like that is not feasible at the moment. I guess that's it, really. I'll take a water. I have to do a reveal turn. I have two strength there, plus my one sword that puts me to three. I have four. I'll buy the Benedictus 
operative. How do you buy cards? Well, I do a reveal. What's your revealing? Uh, no, you reveal everything. Uh, right, yes. You get everything in the blue. Okay. And then and you're going to hear to see if you have that. For the purposes of yeah. on there. <coughs> cards you so buy go right to your discard pile. A northern water. Oh, and this gets trashed. Master. For having been used. There's a way to get water. Mm-hmm. I played it. So we trash him. Oh, it's a th- that can you start in your deck, though? Yep. Yeah, okay, let's just put it off to the side. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back in your deck. <coughs> oh, you have one of those and a diplomacy. That's right. All right. Little, Jimbo. Little symbols. I also hand. do a reveal turn. You start okay. four. So do you I have any have uh, swords? No, I do not have any swords. What do you buy? So I have four hmm. uh, nice. buying power. Um, I was going to buy the Bene Gesserit card. But you can only buy one card, correct? Incorrect. Okay. As many as you can buy afford. one and a two. And it does replace immediately. So maybe, maybe you can go. Yeah, you can buy the one and help her. <coughs> maybe the one that comes up. Yeah, so I'll buy Weirding Woman, which is replaced with Spacing Guild's Favor. And then no, I will I buy. No, I wanted that one. Northern Watermaster. You've, ru- you've ruined everything, Walker. You caused a, caused a cascade. Sorry. And then clean sorry, up. No, clean sorry. up. I assume everything. Clean up means everything goes in the discard. Uh. Thing that was yeah, in hand. Yeah, everything that you would play then. Yes. Had revealed. Okay. I also am doing like, the thing. Whatever yep. it's called. Reveal the cards from your hand, yep. earn rewards and effects that are in the boxes, and your combat strength is zero. So it doesn't matter, even if you had swords, you don't get to use them, because okay. you didn't put any uh, uh, cubes in the conflict. Okay. Uh, how do you put cubes in the conflict? Uh, you go to the cross sword spaces, okay. or anything with a cube. So, so, I, the, cross so the first thing, the cross sword, you go to a cross sword, any cubes that you earn from the cross swords can, are allowed to go immediately into the conflict, if you wish, or you can put them in your garrison. Okay. Then, as a just a generic crossword action, you're allowed to take up to two cubes from your garrison and put them into the conflict as well. Okay. Uh, <coughs> basically, anything that gives you cubes, most things that give you cubes, give you the opportunity to also seven pull them two more cubes. Indeed. Except the Emperor. Yeah. Can't buy a that, unfortunately. Yeah, it's too bad. One oh, short yeah. one, that short sucks. One. But you could afford one of the two bigger ones, the Treacherous Maneuver or the Spacing mm-hmm. Guild. You took what I wanted. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 that's fair. You could afford it, that made sense. Um, it's expensive for these sandworms have an interesting shape. They do. It's like trash two cards to get the benefit, which is. I saw many. Uh, Ouch! Many yeah. a comment on the How internet. Good that is for for five. <coughs> yes. What is that symbol? Which one? As go up on any of these tracks. Four on the side. So spend all of that to do that? Is that what that means? Uh, uh, nope, so you'll gain $2 when you reveal with it. And Aero, yeah, spend Aero's 3 bucks to so, pay. So, so spend all of... Oh, so get, gain that and yeah, spend. Yeah, so you'll have this available to buy with, and you can spend 3 spice to advance on the track. I need. How do I get spice? <laughs> everything's so mostly hard. going to the harvest spaces. Yeah, yellow yellow triangles. Yellow triangles. Okay, so um, and then this. So what is a fremen bond? Another uh, fremen card in play. Correct. Okay, so one that I had played. I do not. Current, like I said, I don't have any cards. Well, maybe I'll buy this one and hope for something better. And if not, I'll just buy some twos. All right. Uh, it is double agent, which yeah. is a. Both an Emperor and a Spacing Guild card. I could afford that one. I have seven by. You have seven? Yeah. One, two, three, Very four, nice. five, six. Everything she was doing was drawing her cards. Very nice. And then she went to the. Yeah. I really want another Fremen card, but there is not, so. All right. I pass on combat. Jimbo. Well, I have yet to take yeah. it to my. Aid. You don't get one. <laughs> Go ahead, Keith. I was waiting. And, and uh, so the ones you put into buckle in your discard. It is you a start at it's six. An extra fight. Maker can one extra fight. It is a Fremen Bene Gesserit card. Two, four bucks. Well, two there's very little. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. It gives you benefits for having two in both of those factions. Nice. I'll buy. Yeah, I'll buy Maker Keeper. 
Make a peeper and see what comes up. Long live the freighters. Except Except cannot support. Support. Nope. Uh, instead I will buy Hidden Missive. Hidden Missive. Hidden Missive is replaced by Mala Pistol, which is another Fremen card. All right, I pass on entry cards, Jimbo. I pass on entry cards. Keegan. Pass. Pass. All right, Keegan, you win. You get to go up any track you wish. I will advance on the Emperor track. Yours, Jimbo. Jimbo, you get a entry card and a spice. Woo! I get a spice. All of these troops are dead. Uh And I can win the next conflict, maybe. And I gain this card? You do gain that card. If... You had a worm in the fight, you'd get to go up on two trigger track twice. Mm-hmm. Because uh, when someone gets <coughs> a 10, I think, is when the in-game is triggered. Or all of the conflict or cards. Or all the conflict cards, yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Done, done. All right, place one on everyone where there's not a worker. Then we check for in-game. Nope. Bring back all your leaders, your agents. Leaders, sorry. Agents. Uh, agents, oh, two leaders. Sorry, yes, sorry. sorry. Pass for spare marker. Jimbo, it's you. Reveal a new conflict. New conflict is up. Mousy. And it's up Fremen cube. and water. <coughs> and a cube. All right. And then draw up to a hand of five cards. Meh. So we're to determine what trash was. Yes. yes. Hand or discard. Or play. Or play. Mm. Don't go where I want to go. Everyone just pass. Everyone take a reveal turn. You want to spend all your money, and then I have all the spots I want to go to. Your card. Whatever you just look that up. Go to the original Dune. Oh, this is like a Dune. Regrets about not playing it. One of my cards. <laughs> Images. Do I really want to go? I can't go because I don't have the cards for it. <laughs> and I also don't have my ring. It was low odds that I get it. Of the board. Are there more ring cards to buy, or do you have a single ring card? Just a single one, one, unfortunately. This is poopy. I've not seen all the cards, and maybe there might be a card that comes up there that lets you. No, I should just I should decide what I'm doing if Jimbo does goes where I want to go. And He's here, not. I pay two Solari. I get two cubes and yeah, water. There it is. There. Yeah, so it's up in that. It gets you three bucks. Oh, yeah. Now it's a card, though, instead of water. Yeah. It still has chum stuff. It does, yeah. Or just you put forward with spend some amount of spice to get some amount of money. Or just get free three dollars. So I get two spice for going here? Yep. Yeah, you get that and that. I think the chum designation is just. Spice. Uh, uh, and then I have a combat. Theme. Things. Come on, Theme Master, what's so chum? I can, I can put things uh, in Combine, combat. Honet. Ober, Advance, or Mercantile. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. I can put things in because of that. Yes, yes. association. Sure. Basically. Why not? Fight, fight, fight. What can I do? What can I do? Keegan, it is your turn. It is my turn. And I play Pot of Greed. Um, I will go to the Space and Guild. And by Space and Guild, I mean the Emperor. Is your starting deck? Oh no, you you drew cards. Yeah. So you get a victory point? I do get a victory point, and I trigger my thing to draw a uh, shenanigan card. I bought bought two cards. Neither of them are in this hand. (laughs) Unfortunate. Hmm? Why? I can't. And then I gain. So what's Highliner? Five spice. Highliner. Two spicy. So I'll take spice refinery. 
because that's I've at least two influence in Highliner to be able to do what I thought I was going to be able to do. This deliver part. supplies. When you deliver supplies, you also get three. <coughs> uh, uh, which mode is it? Solari. Three Solari. Seek allies. Trash this card. Also, I would like to point out that Megat is the main character, and therefore the one that we should be most concerned about winning. Don't want to do that. Give me at least a couple more turns to, to get caught up into what what the heck I'm doing. Of course, of course, this is all terrible. Yep, yeah. trash this card. I will go up on this track. Go ahead. Don't forget to put your agent out. Oh yes. Actually, that gets me the water. It does get yep, water. that's kind of good. All right, go ahead, Jimbo. I'm going to play two on the <coughs> desert planet. No. I'm going to go here. I wanted to interact with the mechanic. I'm going to get to deliver supplies. I get to actually draw a card. And I will. Go okay, ahead, what Megan. What the heck am I doing? Um, I guess I could just go to the assembly hall again. True. You can also just go here if you want, Solari. And or the ability to put two more... Uh, True. Two more guys into combat. I'll up to one more guy. I don't, I don't have any more guys. Yeah, fair. Uh, ah. You're not going to be in combat. They might be. Oh, I need that one of these. Arconin. Arkin. What does this give me? Arakeen. Go to Eric Keen, you get a water. When, when do you mm -hmm. spend these? Spend generally. These uh, usually, like if it's combat, it'll say play combat intrigue cards. It says, it says plot. Is yeah, there a plot? Whenever. Whenever. Anytime okay. during the They're the whenever ones. Okay. Uh, uh, sure, I'll go. Oh, no, I can't go there. Never mind. Oh, yes, I can. I'll go here. I will spend. One spice to get four money. And if you wish, you can deploy that last cube into combat. No one else is in combat. But Walker could still go into combat if he adds more guys. Actually, I don't know if he can. How do you how do you get more cubes? Anywhere, that, anywhere yeah, he can't. He can't go there. He doesn't have water. Oh yeah. Um, you go there and tie me. How do ties work? He would win the tie because of. If you uh, if you guys tie, you uh, you both take the you both take the next next uh, right. Yeah. How, what are what are swords doing then? Uh, swords on the bottom of your cards boost yes. up your total. Oh, this should be. Yes, yeah, please. Uh, that's just supposed to be your that yeah. turn. Each, okay. Each cube is two, and then you track like add-ons from your cards. Um, I'll leave it. Uh, did we, am I this, this would give me, I need to spend a bunch of stuff. But oh, do I want to burn a card? Myself. A money card. Oh, excuse like me, that. sorry. Mid yawn. Signal ring. I will go here. Paying yes, you could have a lot of sword cards. Two water. Uh, two. Although you lost her last time, so probably not as many this time. Two. Game two. And you may deploy into combat. Mm -hmm. I also draw two cards. And then my signet ring ability is I can burn a card. I think. What do I want to burn here? What did I even buy? I'll burn oh, a. This card I want to play next turn. This is the card I used in my first turn. Honestly. One, two, three. I'm also just going to play my plot to draw a bonus card. Done. Get. Jimbo already has his two out. All right. So, yes, I will play that. I will go to here. I will deploy one cube. Oh, I could have deployed a cube. I, put, I went there last time. And I will go up. Yes. Swords. Yeah, I, that was, I was in that space last round. I could have, I could have deployed. And then I will. I was told I did not. I did not go in a spot. <laughs> Draw a card. It's fine. I'm in favor. Where were you I don't a really moment ago? Done. Jimbo. 
I'm going to reveal my intrigue card, Detonation. Deploy up to four troops from your garrison through the conflict. Then I take a reveal turn. What will be available? And I set my combat strength to seven. You've ruined everything, General. And I get four buying power. Anything that ruins everything you are doing, Walker, that's that's what I'm aiming for. Uh. There's more. There's more way to prepare. Oh, that's not what the card I thought it was. Never mind. Go ahead, Megan. Right, I'm going to mercenary. Two cubes and another one of these. You, you spent three dollars for two cubes. Yeah, it says they can go right into combat. It doesn't say. It just says. And they, so then they go into your. Go into your oh, I would have done reserve. things differently then. Okay. Well, just have done it last turn and deployed the that's two from. That's true. Yeah. From your uh, all the, all, anytime you get cubes, they go to your reserve. If there is a sword attached, you can deploy those sword, cubes. Sword has plus to, up to two. Okay. Yeah, that sword is, is sword is deployed. My mistake then. Well, I mean, if I mean, if we're not retroactively doing it, then there's not really much. Well, you went here and you yeah. didn't gain cubes, so you could have put the two cubes in. Yeah. Right. Yeah, both my spots were swordy. Um. And you had that card from the yeah. beginning. Yeah, I had, I had the card last turn. <laughs> At which point I will absolutely not have yeah. thrown three. Yes. So just put me at one sword, please. Sorry, zero swords, because I have no troops in the conflict. Okay. Um, stand by. That may change what I did on my turn as well. Yeah, like, sorry, no, I, what, thought, I, thought, I thought I could play it like later. I didn't realize I had to sword it. Uh, I, I've drawn cards off of my reaction to that as well already. Uh, my turn for reveal. Yeah, I yes. Need to buy something, I guess. Technically. Oh yeah. I and I have plus one. So nine. Nine. So oh, yes. uh, Megan has nine swords. And three by. Six and she this is a friend of one of swords. One sword. One sword, so she goes to seven. She's four. she's yellow. She Sorry. has eight plus one. Sorry, I was thinking. <laughs> you're, you're all you're all good. You're all good. Um. Okay. Why are those? Because we're going that way. Um, so one sword and three by and um, sure. Uh, it is a smuggler's harvester. Hmm. Well, I'll be at eight. That was an unfortunate series of events. One last time. I know, but I spent that turn setting myself up to win this time. I wanted I to win that one. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know that because you would have had. Uh, yeah, sorry. No I thought, I, I, thought, I, thought I could play it later. I didn't realize I had to. Um, Plus, it could have been just like Jimbo's card too. Right? That's or it. Like, could have been a shenanigan. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know what she had in her hand. Uh, Another one because that replaced itself with a new card. So I'm gonna get spice and a cube back. What do I want to buy? Uh, when Maybe Walker will just win anyway. Agent to a maker board, gain a spice. I think that's the only thing I can buy. If I have two influence. Yeah, or you can get prepare the way. I can get both. Uh, I'll get Smuggler's Copter or Harvester. Smuggler's Harvester, and we have a three cost. Which I could also afford. It is. Alliance. If you have a Ben Jesuit Alliance. But it does get you two by power and it lets you do Ben and Jester in blue. Mm. Oh, it would let me trash a card that I don't have one of. Hmm. Oh, sure. Be a good one, Jabo. Eight cost. No! <laughs> We have a seven to five, two eights. Two yeah. Wait, are we? Didn't the previous dune have some way of killing the market? Not that to I prevent know. this happening? Oh, you have to look it up. I might think of a different game. 
reveal. Puts I me thought you killed three. The, um. Because otherwise you can get in this sure. situation where it's <laughs> yeah. impossible to buy anything. Three. Yeah, keep your dude. And I have four. I really wanted that card that Keegan just bought. That seemed really good. Prepare the way. <coughs> I have two more. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of a different game. I was or hoping, maybe it was the expansion. I was hoping there was a way as well. Then we go to combat. Jimbo's out. Megan. Nope. <coughs> entry card. Nope. Keegan, entry card. Nope. I also pass. Everyone's passed. Intrigue phase over. Victory point for Megan. You also get a water and a cube. I think so. Keegan, three spice and a cube. Three spice. Two spice for me. Yep. And then you get that. Oh, right. no. You will need uh, another or mouse or another mouse. No, no, okay. Place and another mouse. Place and spice. Another one here. Another one here. That's that done. Who can afford the water spice? <laughs> no end game. Bring back your agents. Pass the first player marker. Revealing a new conflict. It is a dagger. <coughs> you get stuff. Stuff and things. How do you place spies? It has to have the cylinder token right there. Okay. I think I think this card also that I bought also does that. Chances are good. Um, let me place this. Yeah, okay. Maybe they place a spy, so presumably it can go. Uh, and we want to get high up on things. Um, okay, uh, let's do that. Sure. Um, I'm going to go here because I can. Um, so you either gain a water and bust the wall, or you gain your maker's tools, a cube, and a water. Does busting the wall do? It means that worms can be deployed in combats that take ah. place in those areas. Well, I, there's no worms yet, so I will, I will do the other thing. So, you get, so Megan gets her maker's tool, and you get a cube, and you get a water, and you can deploy two cubes? Yeah, so yes, so it's a sword. Swords, two cubes from your, your barracks to combat. What is the combat for? You get a it tile, a knife, yeah, you cube get a... up on this track. <coughs> cube stuff. Stuff and things. Oh, the blue one. That shouldn't should be there. not be there. That was from last turn. Indeed. 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 Hmm. Oh, and I, and sorry, I also, um, Spying on the board space, you sent an agent to this turn. So I, I put this here. And they place a spy on the same observation post as another player spy. So if they uh, had already been one there, I could have gone there anyway. Signet ring, uh, going here, drawing a card. Which of these would you like? I would like. I don't know. If you place all your spies and you place another spy, do you just move a spy? Yes. I believe so. I'll have to look it up. I'm pretty sure that you're allowed to do that. Burn a card. I'll burn this time a knife. I don't think I'll be doing combat this turn. I don't, I don't remember what spying does, but I place a spy. Interacting with mechanics. You can remove a spy to either place somewhere someone's already uh. gone to, or when you place in a spa in a place, draw a card. Hmm. So, so if I go to either of those places, I Yeah, so if someone else was those. here, you could burn a spy to go there anyway. If you put someone here, you could burn the spy to draw a card. Then I'm going to remove that spy and draw a card, which I don't have any of. Go ahead, Jimbo. I'm going to play. Oh, wait, I get to space, place a spy on a blue. I will place it right back where I had it. 
doing the desert planet. I'll go here for water. I get three spice, which means I finish harvest, which means I get three solari. Go ahead, Megan. Um, so if I go here, I can uh, build two worms? Yes. Let's do it. This, I don't need water. Who needs water? If you have the hooks. Do you have hooks? Yep. Do you have, she has a hook. I need to have a yellow also. Minor detail. I will put it like this. So do they go into combat this turn or do they no, stay they, they, they never go to your barracks. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I, guess I'm, I guess I'm just full on in combat. <laughs> yeah, you're, I'll just win this one. Um, Which will give you Do a point. I want to put two guys into combat and just fully dominate? <laughs> I don't say you're. I don't. I don't think anybody's you're at eight. thinking about challenging six, you. Six, seven, eight, <laughs> plus whatever is in my hand. I mean, it's possible. Can you have just worms in combat without any yep. humans for color? Hmm. Um, and do you score I, here? Oh, sorry, it's about there. I gain spice, and because I gain spice, uh, if I gain spice this turn, I get a thing. Do I get to pull from here or there? And yeah, from here, from okay. there. All right. What am I getting? Uh, my choice may depend on what is left. Ah. Um. I don't know. I don't know what's better. I guess I'll do that one. Ooh, hiss. Um. All right, uh, it will go to, yeah, I'm not in the fight at all this turn. Uh, so I think I will just play dagger and, ooh, do I want an extra buck? Nothing costs that much anyhow. So I will go. Jumbo gets to last. I don't think I like that. Here. I don't think I like you. And just get. Two cubes for free into my barracks. Once again, I did a sword space and I didn't put anyone in. Do you want to go back and put? No, oh, I do know what. <laughs> no, no, that. Oh, and I draw a card because I played my segment. No, I wanted. I would. It's not because I'm not going to go back. Um, do I just do that instead then? This will go out of my hand. I'm going to set myself up for next turn. Play that. Put my agent here. Gets me water. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Moves me up on this track. Gets me a victory point. Mm -hmm. I am completed. I will play Northern Watermaster. Get water. Put my agent in the blue. I get a cube. Did you guys both see the new Dune movie? Yes. Yeah. It was great. It was really good. Thoroughly enjoyed. How does it compare to Tremors? <laughs> <laughs> it's my preferred sandworm movie. There's not a whole lot of sandworms in Dune. I don't know. That's my impression of Dune. <laughs> They're around, but... All right, Megan. That's reveal what I... turn. Okay. <coughs> so much reveal. Uh, three sorties. And I don't. Uh, Fremen Bond is if I played a Fremen so, Bird this turn. Yeah. Six, yes. seven, eight. Fremen I did not. Eight and two swords. Three swords. Three swords. And three buy power. Yes. Which means you can buy Prepare the Way. And yep. that is all. That is all. All right. That's, I guess that's what I'm buying. Uh, and that's it. So I you have need to get purple five buy power. And to... Does that even matter since I have no cubes in the fight? Yeah, if you have no okay. cubes in the game, it doesn't matter. This is so frustrating. I have drawn at the end of my turn the signet ring twice. And so that's two turns that I've been unable to play it because it is the last card I've drawn at the end of the previous ah, round. Sorry, I just need to read the text. That's Let's trash this card. It is very irritating. And an emperor card from your hand to gain two influence instead of one. Yeah, so whatever place yeah. you go. I need to get moving up those tracks. I probably won't trash them. Cheap. It's a four. Everything is being shot. Perfect. I play that. I have four. It's the only thing I can buy. I'm not even going to look to see what it does. How about a six? I've got no troops in. I get no bonuses. That is my turn. 
Go ahead, Jimbo. All right, so I got five. You have two. Do you have any swords? I have one sword. You have three. You're almost there, Jimbo. Yeah. Wild. And then these all go into the discard pile. I do not like these icons. Why do we have to draw things here? Well, I'm not even involved. I'm not involved. I'm combat. Alright, combat. Making a master. Turn order. Megan. Uh, injury cards. I don't have any injury cards. Jimbo. Choose not to play. You can get there. You can do it. I have faith in you, man. You got your plus 20 card. I'm sure you got it, right? Choose not to play. Alright. Megan goes up two on on the space field. One, two, and gets another victory point. I got two. Why do I got two? Because you used worms in Ah. the fight. And worms double the. Means um, you also get two cubes. I also, into get, your... I also get one of these because I used sandworms in the conflict. Yes. Two cubes. Two cubes into your barracks. And, and you get two chum tiles. So you can pick one of those and then draw and pick again. What does that do? Uh, you get to take one of your agents back if you go to the so second you you base. Per- cost four spice, but yeah. you're almost at four spice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take this one, I think. Then and then pick another one. Same one or the harvest, which is if you get three or more spice from any of the yellow triangle spaces, you get three solari. Water. It's a highly conditional one. Two uh, people slurry. not going there, I suspect. And one more cube. Two cubes. Um. Yeah, shut up. What does that give you beside, in general, what does that, that gives give you? gives you an entry and four cubes. Like, but, no swords, though. But to your, to your barracks, not yeah. to combat. Um, let's do that. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to get three spice from a spot. Same spot, but two cards. Place card. It's another Mola pistol. Pass first player token. Interesting. I would like different cards. Uh, What's the combat for this turn? New combat. Is Is that the combat card from last turn? Combat. You get that? Yeah. So now you flip over both knives, and Megan gains a victory point. Right. Another knife. No, I, I have less interest in that one. Spend three spice. Are these to worms get gone by the way? Victory point. Oh yes, they are now. Hmm. I sure wish that I had. Oh, also. Yeah, grab. Oh, sorry. That's all. That's done. Maker spaces. Where were you on any maker spaces? I wasn't. So this gets one. Now you, everyone, grab their workers. Yeah, my worker was in an accident. Worm bit, yeah. bit uh, their oh, arm yeah. off. Yeah, missing an arm. Yeah, it's a very sad tale. My Darwin's Journey, I have a, uh, a half bent. Oh, nice. It's very similar to that. Um, and I'm first, I am. Uh, check for end game. We call agents. Pass the first player. Draw a, a new conflict. That's the new contact. Yeah. All right. Draw five cards. It's And this is a Keegan's turn. I'll take this spice. That spice and the card I play says I get an additional spice. All the spice. Yeah. It's all the spice. And I will sloop two guys into the combat. Sloopy sloop. Orange triangle. I go here. I spend three spice. Mm. I get $5. I'm going to take this Tonkers. I also get to go up on the track of my choice. It will be the Bene Gesserit. My turn is completed. (coughs) Going to play Prepare the Way. I'm going to put my agent here. I'm going to pay five Solari. I hate you so much right now. Actually, it's fine. I'll just do that. I'm going to put this Nice. I need to get some money. And that was my turn, and it's now Megan's turn. Why do you want the sandworms in here? 
because uh, uh, you can use them, you in, can use them in, in a combat that takes place. Uh, like every combat card has the name of a place on it. Like if the, uh, one yeah, will come one up that will be things. orange, and it'll say uh, okay. it'll say spice. So for red, red just means anywhere. Anywhere, okay. All right. Um, I'm going to get me some water. Go in here. I went there. That's gone. I get a water for that. Um, and I get to draw a card because of my ring. And I get a cube and a other card. Megan's going to win this fight because she's going to go there next turn and put the worm and the people into combat. I'll go there instead. Yeah, you can block it. I don't have water to go there, though. I don't have um, the little I will go there. into combat, though. Which means Megan gets... Two advances, so a point, and then sells three spice for another point. You go block me. I can't block you. What's the first point from? Uh, two advances on a oh, track. Two advances. Two yeah. I'm trying real hard to get track advances, but they're few and far between. Um, well, maybe I want an intrigue card. But that doesn't mean anything. Anyway. Nobody has four intrigue cards. All I have is is triangles, and I have no water. If you have ah, triangles. I can go there. Mm -hmm. I will go there, and I will take. Oh, sure, should have done this in the other order to get that, but I'll take. Sardaukar. Oh, Jimbo really screwed me. And then I draw a card as well. No. that it's green I go here I spend eight five six seven eight I get another agent and it is now Jimbo's turn while I figure out what I'm gonna do on my next turn is your turn Jimbo Reconnaissance. With reconnaissance, I go to the research station for two water. I get two cubes, and I'm going to put those two cubes directly into combat. You put four cubes into combat. I will put to... four cubes into combat. Uh, and I get to draw two cards, and that is my turn. Go ahead, and Megan. Well, since it's still available, I will do that. Water. I need to play a card with it. Um, I will do this one, probably. Or do you spend the hooks, or do you just always have hooks? You used to have hooks. Hooks she gets one, one worm, not two. Oh, one one worm. worm, yes, that's not the two worm spot. Um, and I think... That is it. I should get hooks. Yes. So I could put more people into combat. You'll first, need uh, first, two Fremen first. You need to get some Fremen. Yeah. Back to the. I'm I'm yeah, I'm, worm, I'm I'm worm tracks movement <laughs> yeah. cards. Yeah. I I'm I wanted worms. That was the only my only. Well, yeah. I drew my track thing into a card as my card draw for the turn now, and I'm so I'll discard it. You see? <laughs> I see. <laughs> I do see. Sure. Why not? I, I don't know if that's good or not. Keegan. Uh, reveal turn. I have six bucks, and that is all. Um, I'm just going so I don't really know if I'm strategizing well or not. Well, you're gonna win another combat with no, the worm Jimbo, for... No, Jimbo might. Jimbo's got a lot of, uh, people oh, wait, there. Uh, your combat. You are at four. Any swords? No, I have no swords. Alright, I play this. I'm going to go there. I'm going to spend one spice to get four. Oh yeah, you got your third dude. I am going to... What's that going to leave me with? That. And what do we got up there? That. 
pull this back and draw a card. Go ahead, Jimbo. That was uh, a mistake. Hopefully detonate. Yeah, cool. see? Well, that's probably for the best. You would get three points this turn. Reveal. <laughs> Any swords? Two swords. I, I, two, I, whether four, or not six, I win, eight, I want, if ten, I get a card, 12, if I get sandwich 14, and conflict. 16. Yeah. Like so. What was my... 16. Oh, I get four, six buying power, which is just short of being able to buy anything that I actually want. And a double agent. Got 11 now, right? And that's fine. I'll just start. Worms are three, agent. cubes are two? Yep. Great. Worms are three, cubes yes. are two. You're I'm revealing. at 14. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fourteen. And three swords. Fourteen. Not not winning. And then I get five by power. Sure. Is there a black symbol in the middle of these or is it just far away? It's just far it's, away. It's giving me something like there's a symbol in yeah. there. It's yeah. just there's, 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 there's a green, the there's a card draw. Yeah, it's just, it's just dark. it looks like there's a black symbol. It's just dark in the middle, and you're looking at it from an angle. Gotcha. All right. Uh, Keegan. I have nothing to do. We're already done. I, I reveal. Know. No combat, no swords. Five. And you guys bought all the five cards. What is the reveal turn? Uh, that's, that, a that's what we're doing. Right. Okay, so, so right, so right now did. I get it one of these. Yeah. I'm exactly. just hoping at the end of conflict, but I get it right now. Yeah, during your reveal turns. When so you, you could play it during combat if yeah. it's shenanigans. Yep, absolutely. Five. Oh, and Fremen card, I think. Uh, can I see the back of the rule book for some And you still have two if you want to get a prepared away. Sure, why not? If. I shouldn't have two of them in my deck, but now I do. Here we are. All right, then we move to combat. Are they, is there a third color of uh, this? There are. Uh, so there yes, three. blue. Yes. Okay. There are the, 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 the blue Ornithopter card. Uh, symbol. And there's also wilds. That I don't know. Entry card. None. Entry card. Nope. Entry card. Uh, no. Okay. Jimbo. Unfortunately. So three up, spice. Up in a place. Pass me the book. I think it's only if you win you get to double with the worms. Well, Jimbo's winning, right? So he spends three spice. Pay three spice. Yes. One victory point for green, please. And then, Megan, you get at least one water, one spice, and one cube, and you might get one more of each. And I get a spice and a spice and a cube. When taking rewards, if you have one or more sandworms in the conflict, double your rewards. Doesn't so you matter. Get an additional spice and an additional water and an additional <coughs> cube. Excellent. Worm, worm, worm. That's detonation. Now that you're about halfway through, how do you think it compares to the original? I love this much more than the original. It's, it's way better than the original, in my opinion. All right, makers, place one spice on maker board's bases that do not have an agent. You have, you have Jimbo the card. Oh, yes, I take the card. And Jimbo actually flip your card and you get another point. Yay. I get These are point. dead. Like, yep. messily dead. <laughs> like, I, well, I, no, there, it's I wasn't sure. By the word. <laughs> I wasn't sure to give there, them. There's no remains. <coughs> are they red or are they just covered in blood? I just, I'd see. All right, there we go. There's a <laughs> yellow card, Siege of Arcanin. So yeah. it is the Siege of Arcanin. Ar 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 so you, we cannot put worms. Yeah, no worms, no unless worms. you have. Unless the wall gets broken down. <coughs> yeah, unless the wall gets busticated. If someone had a banner here, they would immediately put a free cube into there. Uh, first player marker moves. Has that been done? Nope, you should be the first player. <coughs> Give me that. You're all rotten. You're rotten. I play this. Signet ring. Which is green. Well, let's let me put a worker here. I spend five dollars. I get to put a disc there. You sound, you sound bent out of shape. Walker. You ruined my turn. No. It wasn't that bad. Go ahead. Jump on. <laughs> no, no, you're not done. Sorry. Going back. Signet ring ability. 
Unboxing Robinson Crusoe. The bottom left. Oh, yes, yes. It has been changed many times since then. I will put it... I do have two water. I'll put it there. I will play Diplomacy. <coughs> I will boost myself up here by one by going to deliver supplies. My Diplomacy get a is, water. isn't the equivalent of your signet, where it keeps being the last mm. thing I, I, I draw and then it has to get played. Curses! <laughs> I have delivered supplies. I have. Go ahead, Megan. I'm going to bust down that wall. So you get a water. Water. And you break the shield wall. Just that didn't last long, did it? Walls. Who cares about walls? Schmalls. All we care about is worms. Mr. Gorbachev, uh, knock down that wall. Tear down that wall. Actually, I think, I think he said. Okay, then. Five spice, five cubes. Uh, <coughs> and I go up, gaining a victory point, point. And any of those five may go into combat. And likewise, oh. up to two from your barracks may go yeah. into combat. How much do I want to. I don't care about this all that much. It's just some money. It doesn't care about you. Wow. Four. That's harsh. Oh. He's going to be that way then. I kind of I kind of want second place on this. Well, you could try for second. Megan's bringing worms. Maybe. Oh, what's that symbol right there? That's no... That, that means that there's no worms unless you've broken oh, the... Oh, gotcha. It's just a reminder. Yeah. Yep. Understood. Uh, I'll point to... Let me go get third with that. Um, that is my first action, which is now complete. If I wish I had a spice. I wish I had a spice. I go there. I move here. Gets me a victory point. You get an entry when card. you reach to it, <laughs> I get two spice. You get an entry card. And if anybody has four or more entry cards, they have to give you one. I do not. <coughs> Is that from that space? Yep. That's from that that uh, secrets. It's secrets. Oh, so many cards Jim. require two Bene Gesserit influence. I will play the signet ring. Oh, sorry. I need okay, to finish off this. I got another one of these. Spy time. Go time for spice. From my planning. Uh, <coughs> I really need to get that third work. Yeah, I'd like to, but I just don't see it happening, unfortunately. I just spent all my spice on dudes instead of selling for money. I go here, pay two water, I get two cubes, I draw two cards, go ahead, Megan. The wall is down, one with the wall. Just to make my turn go faster, Jibble, I'm playing that. How many worms do you want to play? this card and this card. <laughs> you have so many resources. Yeah. I'm drawing a card. Sure, let's just go all worm. Is there an entry all discard? Worm. All worm all, all the, time. the time. One of each worm. <laughs> One's a small worm. Oh, oh I was just using those so it could ah. come up on the thing better. Oh. oh, that one. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Yeah. Um, oh. Somebody took the, the Ben and Gesserit spot. Those are the two worms that were within reach. So. Well, if I could have gone there, <laughs> yeah, I can assure you I would have. <laughs> uh, so that's fine. And a spy. Sorry, what are the two effects of spies? If I have a spy and somebody goes there, I... If you have a spy and there's someone already there, you can burn the spy to send a I worker to that spot. Right. Or if you have a spy... Uh, and I and you, you go to that spot, you can discard the spy to draw a card. Draw a card. Okay. Sorry, the whole reason I wanted to get to that high council spot that you were in. Uh, ah, is what gotcha. What do I have left in there? Where's the water gain space? Where can one gain water? Oh, the deliver supplies. Very few places. Very few places. <laughs> yeah. You can spend two Solari here to get water. You can get water for delivering supplies. 
And if you can get to two Fremen rep, you can go to the Siege Tiber. Yeah. All right, deciding where the spy goes. The basin is going to be the only place I can get spikes. Next one is over there. Are you done? Yes. I play this green. I go to here. And I spend $2. You get two cubes into your barracks and one water. No sorties, though. No sorties. I guess I have a reveal turn. So my combat becomes three, please. Three combat, four green. Four green. I get two, four, five, six, seven, nine. Could buy steersmen. Yeah, steersmen and overthrow are both really tempting, but anytime I get nine, I really should just buy the buy card that gives yeah. me a victory yeah. point. Uh, I'm going to regret this later. So I spend nine. I get a victory point, please. The spice must flow. I mean, you can ditch no. it later, I guess. Yep, no Fremen Bond or anything, so. That's that. I'm doing a reveal turn, which means I get one of these. Um, I have 12. And I have play, I did play a Fremen this turn, so I get a go you up, get up on the Fremen rep. Uh, is the Fremen bond at the bottom? Yep. yep. Yeah. Sorry. I'm Fremen rep for yellow. yellow up on Fremen. Nice. And then I get three whole by. That can get you. <laughs> yep, that's about it. I already way. have one of those. Well, they replace themselves uh, once you get once you get the influence in. Well, I mean, did you think about discarding? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I need to get some Benjazer influence, which I currently have zero in. Yeah, I've spread myself all over. I haven't focused in anywhere, and it's I really should have. What does this let you do? I think maybe? it's discard two cards yeah, and spend five solar to get a victory point. I think. I think that's what that icon means. Yeah, it is. And then, oh, and if you don't have the five, then you just keep it and you get five. You have four, Keegan, not three. Do I? Yeah, because you have two cubes. Two cubes are worth four. Oh, yeah. Five. So you have five. I was thinking cubes are each worth one. Um, yeah, here we go. And I have... Let me throw one of these. Ooh, intriguing. And then I will buy... Did you remember to add your two when you did your buys? That's why I died. What's the nine? I only got What's eight. the spy doing for me? Subversive advisor? Uh, oh, so it's you an get, emperor card? You get, it's an emperor card. No, so it's not an emperor card. It's not anything. Oh, it's a spy card. Yeah. You get a you get a spy when you, are, when you earn it, and it's you play a guy onto a space that's near one of your spies. No. Oh. I get a spy when I buy it. Yes. And then, if you sent an agent to a faction board space this turn, to a faction board, these, right? Yep. You can tune. Oh, I'll buy that. And I get a spy. I have no combat value. It's replaced by a two. I have eight. I buy this. Yeah, that was the other one. That was one of the ones I was really looking at. And when at. I buy this, I immediately go up on this track. Have... Yeah. Because sure, it says so. Yep. And I am done. Combat time. Everyone's done the reveal, correct? Yeah. Yep. In Jimbo. Entry cards. No. Megan. No. 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 So we're just doing it. Yellow wins. Yellow Yay. wins. Four Solari and four cubes. Yes, cubes. That's the domination of the worms. You also get to put a banner in Arakeen. Right. Second place is red. You four get dollars four in a cube. cube. <laughs> you know, you Jimbo, you get three cubes. <coughs> oh, it's three cubes? Oh, I thought it was three dollars. It is three dollars, sorry. Oh. I, I misspoke. You get a dragonfly symbol. Three. Combat's done. Makers. One here. One here. Makers done. Recall. Check for endgame. No. Does, your even back. though Megan got worms, she still gets that spice, doesn't she? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry, I forgot to take it. Yeah, that's why I was confused. Yeah. Filth. Wow. <laughs> Pass for swim marker. <laughs> Extra filth. All the filth. Uh, do I have any cards? Or did I draw my last? I drew, I drew my last. I drew my last card. Our conflict card this turn is a another dragonfly. Another dragonfly. Up the Bene Gesserit. I will play double agent. I go here, I pay six Solari and get my Swordmaster. And no. I place a spy here. What does. Um, what does High Cancel give you again? Uh, uh, first, you time you, first time you Two extra yeah. buying power for what's, what's, what's the other time? Uh, every half time after you go, you get two spice, an intrigue card, and three cubes to your barracks. Okay. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. I don't hate that. I do hate that I have this card. Uh, it's so hard to get alliances when you're only playing two cards. Yeah. We we got kind of hosed on the cards here that would up your your various factions. Um, let's go uh, there for four, and then because I went there, I get an extra action this turn. Yeah, so that's he's going to come back. So what happens is, so you gain so one victory point for yellow. You get an entry card. Yes. You get four cubes to your barracks. You get a victory point. Where'd you get a victory point? Because you... Uh, uh, you because I hit that thing. Okay. Four cubes to your barracks. And then this guy, being the only one on your board, comes back to you. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Great. Space and guild. Go there. Card gives me an extra spice. I'm actually just going to also spice, spice. immediately spend one of these because I have four and I don't want four. That's fair. And I went there, so I draw a card, correct? Where I have a spy? If you burn that spy. If you pull it off. Come back, spy. I play this. You bought it last turn and it shuffled into your hand this turn? Go to hack. I go up on this track. Cursed, Here's cursed Walker. Gives me this. And three three bucks. Solari. Which gives me a victory point. Three dollars. Then, I have to put a worker there, too. The worker is going to go here because I don't have five spice. So I get a water. And you go, oh, you already played right. And I'm done. Oh, wait, no, now I get to draw a card. And now I get to pull that worker back. Oh, it's a Ben and Jezreel advancement. Hmm. I will play Dune the Desert Planet. I will go to accept contract. I'll take Harvest again. It's replaced with. Whatever this is, research station, and then I draw a card, and now it's Megan's turn. Now that I'm at the level two on that, what is this? Which is the space that I? Because each of them have one space where you need level two to go. Uh, right. Here, imperial right. privilege, which is where you discard an entry card to draw an entry card, then you get to bring a guy back to your hand, and you get to draw a card. Sure, let's do that. Just keep not putting guys on the board. So you pay three Solari. Yes. Draw a card. Draw, uh, draw, discard, 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 discard entry card, and then draw um, one. I'm going to discard that one. And then this guy bounces back to your board, uh, and you draw a card from the top of your deck. Okay. Um, yes. And I had to play with that. Sorry, I had to play a card with that. I'll play with, play with that one, which gets me another card. Mm. That's what I will do. Do I want to get in the spite? I have no idea how much I would. Win. <laughs> I still don't know what I'm doing, yeah. right wise. Uh, you know, I'm just going to make use of the synergy while I have it available. So I'm going to go here, draw an intrigue card, and I get a point, and then I can burn an intrigue card. Oh, as much as I don't want to burn this one, I'll burn that one. Um, and two spice just for a free point. I will play this and put 
the worker here cost me two water. I will burn this to draw a card. So you draw three cards. I just want to do everything in order, that's all. And then on my segment ring, it lets me put a worker back. Or a spy back. And then with the thing, I'll put two into combat and then two more in and then two cards and I'm done. I will play dagger. I will go here. I will pay two Solari to get one water, two cubes into my barracks. Go ahead, Megan. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Megan's always both the people to face. Um, I'm gonna go uh, here for the water and the cube. Cube, water, and. Uh, and I would get to build a thing, but I do not. Reveal turn it's for me. Build. I will buy the city for oh, six. Oh, and I get to draw a card from the card. Take two, four, six. Yep. Center card coordination. done yep and I have nobody in the combat I will play this which will let me put a worker here which will let me draw a card from the, from the card I will also be able to spend one spice <clears throat> for four dollars I don't know what I'm doing with all this money but money and because it was a sword space, I'll put that cube in. Well, you can always go up here with that money and get... <coughs> oh, yeah, you're right. There's just the secondary thing there. Yep. You're done? Done. I have a reveal turn. I have five plus two is seven buying power. I'm going to buy along with the fighters. I really wish things you bought went on top of your deck. And I am done. Go ahead, Megan. I'll die. I'll mark it. Yes. All worms all the time. Ecological and disaster. Testing station. And you get this. Oh, and I sort of had to play that way. Uh, so this combat is worth two points to Megan for winning it. I just, I mean, whether or not I win these, and I, I, may, I may well not, I just, I want to engage yep, with worms. You want <laughs> You're sure. I've done my reveal. <coughs> Oh, that's right, Megan and I did all sorts of silly stuff. Yeah. I go there. I'll do a jibbo sit. That seemed fun. I go there. Pair the way. Spend five. So you get two spice. I'll finish this. It's all right. I'm just going to do that. i finish the card just to make sure I don't forget. I have at least two influence with the Ben so I draw that. And like you said, two spice. Two spice. An intrigue card. And three troops into your barracks. This is garbage. I'm done. <laughs> I'm doing a real turn. <coughs> this is the second time I've, I've drawn right, that. I, reveal, I get one of these. Um, so I'm going to uh, set yellow at 12, please. And put my Fremen up one. Fremen goes up by one. So you get a water. Right. And you get this. Right. Which also increases your victory points by one. Right. You. Oh, you've already done that. You know, you can go oh. right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, I'm not in the Do you have any swords to show in your I reveal? Be at uh, twelve. Oh, am I at okay. I have one sword. Two, three, so eight, I go to eleven. Nine, yep. 11, 12, 12, 13, 14. Right? What are your bonuses from? Well, he's three. Three. These four, are each two, so that's eight. Eight, 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 eight nine, ten, eleven, eleven. twelve, thirteen. Oh, sorry, 14. I missed one cube that was hiding behind the, ah. the worm for me. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, right, I'd buy power. I forgot to do my buy. 
Um, you have four. I said, yes, I have four. I'm just buy one of those two. Then do I care about either of those? I think I have one that cares about one of them. Or maybe I didn't buy it. No, I didn't buy it. Okay. Let's just keep making an extra point. Uh, this. Ah, right. Sure. Using with four. With four. Satter card here or here. This, whatever it does. And I am done, Jimbo. Is everyone done reveal turns? Everyone has done reveal yeah. turns. Um, so in combat intrigue, I do not play any combat intrigue. Megan, combat intrigue. To pass now and Walker plays one, do I get to play one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's I will not pass, until I'll pass now. I also will not, not combat. pass. Okay, so Megan, you go up on any one. No, it's specifically the, uh, the it's purple one. Oh, so you go up two place. on the Benjusserit. Two. And get another victory point, and then you get two intrigue cards. Uh, yes. And I get another in. No, I already got the one for the war. Um, you can claim this card. I get your second blue symbol. What, I mean, so yeah, we, we need we need that card <coughs> so that people can see their rewards. All right. Come right. Yes. Come uh, intrigue card: a spice and a cube. And then spice and a cube for third. If there was no third. No third. Spice. All right. Flip a conflict. Next conflict um, is Battle this, for this Spice won. Refinery. The refinery is under attack. Makers. No one went here? No one went there. Ooh. Expensive. And it's just straight up points on top. Does anyone have a button? Oh, you guys have both singles over here. Spice there. All right, we cannot let Megan win this conflict with worms. Oh, well, good luck stopping that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get your workers back. I don't know what they were thinking when they added worms to the game. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, the it's, problem it's is a, Megan is the only one. Nobody else point. is doing worms. <laughs> it's like the, you have to get Fremen up. You yeah. have to be able, and if someone else is getting in there before you to get the Fremen up, you just can't get the Fremen up. Like, and honestly, if they were three combat strength, that wouldn't be so bad. It's that they double your your rewards every yeah, time. It, it That's is. just wow. ridiculous. My yeah, tree cards are. It is wild. Awful. Like, mm. I don't know if it's just this game, but like, I know a lot of people say that the worms really balance things. See, I find totally the opposite. Yeah, but the like that seems just like a ridiculous. universal consensus from. Yeah, double the rewards is crazy. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they found maybe in the previous game people weren't fighting over the combat. They were doing the hooks wrong. I don't think so though. I yeah, maybe like after you have three, to expend the hooks. I looked I three know. or four times. I never saw anything that said you had to discard the hooks. Yeah. I could be wrong. I mean, it might just, it's, I think it's probably one of those things where, like, just nobody else is doing it. You can't, because the, there are only two Fremen spaces. So if the Fremen spaces are occupied, you literally cannot take those spaces. Okay. I'm first. Yes. We're just going to spend some of these because I have too many of them. Oh, I was going to steal them on my turn. Good. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, where else do I have my spy? To go, where do I want to go? Oh, I think you got jostled. Uh, I could do either of you two. I assume um, you need these back, Megan. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, how many more of these do you need? I, I, I need I have, if I have four, I can be stolen from? If you have four or more, yeah. you, you can yeah. steal. Okay, we are losing that one for a spice, because I can't lose most of these, um, and I can lose this one after my turn. Oh, you can you can afford it. These are all dead. Or did well, there's some of them I don't want to give you. In? I have not put any touch yours, so they're dead. I put mine in. I just put I just put those in. That's yes. what, okay. So should there be a person in? No, it was from a. It was, oh, okay. it was deploy up to four troops from from the garrison. Gotcha. Uh, okay, sorry. I'm just trying to figure out. I know where I'm going. I just need to. Oh, I can't go there. Shoot. Okay, well, I might have to... Oh, actually, can I do that? No, unfortunate. Hmm. I don't want Keegan to steal some of these, though. Interesting. If... You can't just ditch them, right? No. Okay, well, I'm just going to lose this for its lower effect. 
I, I, I'd get three money if I had a, if I had my influence up, but I don't have any way to get that up. I don't I don't have the card that oh. puts that up. Megan is now unstealable. Yep. Since that then. was I haven't actually done my turn yet. Oh, I was just, sorry. I what I wanted to do I realize I can't do. Um, unfortunately, um, so I needed to just to divest myself of cards so you couldn't t pick the one I want to keep. Um, actually, the two I want to keep. Uh... Yeah, I didn't get my third dude. Usually, I try to rush that as quickly as I can, but. Um, I guess. I said usually I've only played the game a handful of times, but I, will I should play more go... than that. Yeah, I haven't seen you playing the app, right? Walker? Yeah. I'm playing the. I get. Sure. Go to the evidence team. Not this. The the, the original. The original game. Uh, uh, they're working on the first expansion. Oh, right Filbert. Over. Sorry about that. How much? Arrakis spice. Okay, I'm gonna go. Is too much on my chicken. I'm going to go here. I don't know. I'm gonna spend um, a spice. When you can see into eternity, you've gone just far enough. <laughs> yeah. Three, four. Uh, that's too many Solaris. What, what are you doing do with all these Solaris? Um, Mage. Well, at least, at least five if she wants to go to the High Council. Well, I think she wants to win this turn. I, it really if, depends. If she gets a Sandworm in combat and wins this, Megan wins the game. Yes. So I'm going to try to stop that. Yeah, you should do that. As best I can. Make sure there's nothing else I'm supposed to do. Oh, well, now you're going to stop me from stopping her. That. Well, I'm awesome. doing what you're about I'm, to do. I feel like I should. I don't know that I'm well, going to win, but. Uh, draw a card for myself. Yay card. That's very good. Uh, and then I... That's not I, stopping her at all. I don't know if I'm going to win or not. I just am Well, I get to throw things in combat. I have one of two things I'm going to do, and it depends Stopping on... her is going to the sandworm spaces. Yes. <laughs> mm. well, I can't go to the sandworm I can't, spaces I don't have until... water. Oh, yeah. no, you stopped me. You at least go you up took here. A, you took the bolt yes. off me. I don't have enough yes, water to go to the sandworm spaces. I don't have enough water to go to the sandworm, the sandworm spaces. I. No, you can still go to the sandworm space and just harvest spice. Yeah, it's just spice. You don't get. I'm going to play this. Like you can easily stop me. I am going to go here. That's why I have two things I'm going to do, I and one of them is probably going to get stopped. See, for all the talk from the two of them about this stopping you, it's... neither of them have taken any action to stop yeah, I you. Will go you there. should stop me. I no, get, I get I'm not going to bother. <laughs> if, they, if they're going to foist it off onto the guy in last place, <laughs> I also get a cube. They can suck it. Hey, and I'm I also last two place. Cubes in here. I also get to destroy a card. Which I will not do. Go ahead. And in fact, you have will of the council, or high council. And maybe I can't go to the worm space. See, I, I could have gone there and stopped her if you had not done that. How did me... Oh, because you do two... Because I had to pay water now to get the influence that I needed. Ah, uh, I see. And now I don't have the water to go there. Jimbo. You don't need influence to go to that space. You won't get worms, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jordan. See, to do it the way that you absolutely wanted. To stop her in combat, I would need the worms. No, it's stopping her from getting the double victory points oh. from getting the worms. Well... Doing the desert planet. See, look. You get things. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm obligated to get worms if I, if I can. Harvest. Well, it's harvest time. Uh, and I get to draw a card. Go ahead, Megan. I feel like I, I guess since nobody blocked me, I'll go to the worm spot. Short on spice. Hmm. Well, well, well. Yes, this was my plan. Uh, I, like, hold. I like Tremors. Tremors is great. It's just silly fun. It uh, is. It is very silly fun. 
Discard. We're always living with a bunch of friends on uh, Young that, Street. Sorry, I've got a couple shenanigans. Like a tremor of there. there. I think mm-hmm. at two points. nights. That was just then it was great. I, yeah. It's not uh, as good when Kevin Bacon leaves, but it was universe. still pretty good. Like, yeah. It was still tons of fun. Yeah. This card. Oh, nice. Uh, treacherous Maneuvers will let me kill a card and its card itself. I can't believe I got the worst and cards. And go up twice on really any of them. Um, so it's probably this, so I can get some intrigue out of it at least. And then draw an intrigue from it. Don't forget to put your guy in it. Yes. Point. And another point. Um, oh, that intrigue card sucks. Done? Yeah. I'll go here. Gets me a cube. And I push two more cubes in. Also gets me water. And my hook. We'll play Darwin's Journey tonight. Play the dagger. Jesus Christ. Sure. Right. Go down. Go there. Get the two. Go ahead, make it. Veal. Um, and I get another one of these. Um, uh, that plus one. Sorry, what plus one? So that's uh, oh, seven, did a reveal. Seven, yes. 14, 17, 18. Just like Jimbo said, 18. Uh, buying anything? Oh, right. Um, uh, sure. Refill the market. I'm refilling as well. Uh, alas. Play this card. Put a worker here. Spending two water. Gets me two cubes, which I'll put right into combat. If I have at least two influence, I get a card. And that space lets me draw two cards. And I'm done. Go ahead, Jumbo. I'm just going to go to my reveal turn. I have seven. Buy this. Go ahead, King. I forgot. I have already revealed. Go ahead, Walker. You're the last one in. All right, revealing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. This is another one. This is one sword for every Emperor card you revealed, including this one. So another plus one. So now we are tied. Then money. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I assume you're buying a point. Twelve, thirteen. Again, yes, I'll buy a point. With four left. Four left. I will buy this. Oh no, four. The four. Sorry. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll pass. To combat. Right. To combat. Uh, Megan, do you have intrigue cards you'd like to play? Yes, devour. Um, four extra. Because there's sandworms. All right. And also get a ditch a card, which I might as well do. <coughs> Keegan, intrigue cards. I will retreat my troops and actually I'll leave one in the combat and draw a random one of these. Pass. <laughs> well, I don't get good entry cards. Entry cards, Megan? <coughs> oh, at some point I forget to trigger my highliner one. Whoops. I didn't do it with a highliner. Um, I have too many entry cards. I'm going to play this one too for more just because... Safety. 
safety and also um, I have too many cards. It's like safety of the, this deck. Yeah. Two. Well, nobody that was nobody can steal now. All right. Yes. So, uh, Megan gets two victory points and can pay six Solari for a third victory point. Uh, Walker gets an entry card and three spice. Oh, that entry card could be could be in game. Of course not. Look <laughs> at that. No extra combat. I also, I also get another point because my my cards match. Yep, and then you oh, one yeah. more point. My entry cards are just the worst. <laughs> right, and that is game. <coughs> just like in the movie, <coughs> Muadib. Good game. Through everybody. the power of destroying the shield wall with giant sandworms. <laughs> yep, absolutely. It happened exactly very, the way very, it happened. In the very movie. thematic. And now we need to get married. Hmm. Well, you need to force me into an arrangement. Oh, what's this? I might, I might just, I might just, go, I might just go off with my sandworm. Filbert, depends no. on how much chicken no, no, no. and say the average helping <laughs> three pinches of arrakis spice is too many. And then I need to become involved in pinches of arrakis spice. Also, hi, Mr. See, Mike. This is why I don't want to marry you. <laughs> eventually, you turn into a weird worm person. No, her son does. Well, her son does. Yeah. Oh, okay. Paul doesn't turn into the weird worm. Paul I thought, dies. I thought it was Paul. No, he dies. Things with the little symbols are your starting hand. Spoilers. The well, book's like forty years old now. <laughs> there's no, there's the. It is way past the, the statute of limitations. Disagree. I mean, my understanding of this expansion is worms are OP. Yeah, mad OP. I, I do not know what they were thinking. Like, well, I think if more people had gone into worms. But again, like but because <coughs> the, 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 because you can only get. Oh two yeah, spaces. like everyone has to like rush that. So does that mean the only way to play is to rush Fremen every time? Well, it usually was, even in the other game. Like, that's just, that's not good. Dude Imperium's in the top 10 on BGG now, isn't it? Yeah, but so are other games. I was going to say, so, so yeah, lots of things. Oh, we <laughs> finally <laughs> finished like Spirit we Island. Hey, we haven't played Spirit Island. Yeah, that, no, that's, true. that's one game that I understand why it's in the top 10, but... Probably. So we have, uh, what did you say you got? We got the new expansion. <coughs> that this will decide, but for the listeners that are on right now, we have the new expansion for Foundations of Rome. Foundations of Rome. And we have Robert and Crusoe. So those are the two games we'll probably play next week. So let me know which ones that you would like to see. And that's the one that we will, we can even play both, really. Yeah, that's the two games we play, not two. Well, almost of the same. Stand by and see what my weekend next week is like. I'm not 100. I was trying to get hurt, <coughs> but then worms still open, so I got that's what it ended. Yeah. All right, who's on? We will raid someone. Mm. They're playing Dune, Dune Adventures in the Imperium. I there think, we go. I think it might be the RPG. That's fine. Hey, RPGs are great. We'll raid another town <laughs> player. <laughs> <coughs> Goodness gracious, they are called... Oh no, this is something else. This could be the sort of... Remember there was a... Oh no, it's uh, it's the RPG, I think, ish thing. Uh, Funcom's doing a Dune Survival Crafter. I have been keeping an eye on that. That I'm kind of faintly interested in because I like extreme environment stuff when it comes to survival crafting, like snow and sand and... All right, been... the raid is set up. <coughs> First of all, I want to thank everyone for watching. We played all sorts of stuff. Man, we played Almost Innocent. We unboxed uh, Robinson Crusoe. Then we played E.T. Foam like for that? Pizza. Light, light, light years from home. And then we played Dune, the new Dune, Uprising. <coughs> Which is a huge improvement over the previous one, in my opinion. Even with the worms. The worms weren't so crazy in our game. I, I went a little heavy on the worms, but it didn't Yeah, no, and, and shut me out of combat entirely. We definitely did not do the double bonuses, I don't think. No, you did. You did, did we? Just, yeah, I just okay. I just contended, because there were only two of us, I contended myself with second place, because gotcha. I was never, ever going to be able to beat your worms. I will say hello to Ash, the Max for you. Who is Angkor, anyway? I don't know who that is. It could be the Tire Center guy. We'll pretend it's the tire <laughs> center guy. We'll not say your name online. Back to the raid. We're here every Saturday. Saturday, twelve thirty p.m. Eastern for sure. That's the advertised game. But then, lately, at least for the last two weeks, we've been starting early. But who knows? 
think we're off next week. Uh, Check. Jeremy's thing doesn't start until the evening uh, next week. I'm, I'm, I won't be here next week, regardless. Click the link. Uh, I am uh, maybe next week. So it will bring you to our podcast and other stuff. Oh, and we're gone. It, it auto-rated because we ran out of time. Yes, too much talking.